Hi, I'm Andy Burnham, Mayor of Greater Manchester, and I'm delighted to support the first ever GM Digital Pride, which has been developed by our LGBTQ plus communities right across the city region. GM Digital Pride will take place on our wonderful streaming platform, Stream GM, which is a legacy of United We Stream from the lockdown of last year. And it will provide a platform and a voice for creative talent across our beautifully diverse city region. GM Pride will be streaming for free on Saturday the 25th of September and there will be a mix of performances from LGBTQ plus artists from right across Greater Manchester. There will be DJs, drag and cabaret artists and a whole range of other live performances that everybody will be able to enjoy safely from your own living room. It is estimated that 215,000 people across Greater Manchester identify as LGBTQ+, which in population terms makes the community larger than the borough of Rochdale. It was in recognition of this that I appointed the UK's first dedicated LGBTQ+, advisor, Carl Austin Beam. And it's Carl who's been working with our Stream GM team with local pride groups and performers from right across the 10 districts and together they've all pulled this amazing event together which celebrates the vibrancy and the diversity of our LGBTQ plus communities. Because of the pandemic, many local pride events haven't been able to take place or have had to be scaled back to keep people safe. But we can't let anything stand in the way of pride and that's why this event is so important. It allows us to celebrate the progress that we've made together but also reflect on what more we need to do to let all people here be who they are, love who they love, and do so without fear of hate, prejudice, or discrimination. Hello, hello everyone. I'm Owen Wynne Evans, and a very warm welcome to each and every one of you. Now, due to the uncertainty of live events being able to take place this year, the Greater Manchester Pride Network, made up of all of the local community pride events across Greater Manchester have been working in collaboration to make sure that all of our LGBTQ plus community could still engage with their respected communities in a meaningful way and via GM Digital Pride through Stream GM they hope to achieve this. Now during the next 10 hours there will be a fabulous mix of live and pre-recorded content from various LGBTQ plus acts and artists from all 10 boroughs split throughout the event. So it doesn't matter if you're from Wigan, Bolton, Salford, Trafford, Oldham, Rochdale, Stockport, Bury, Tameside or Manchester, there will be something for you to keep you entertained. Manchester Licensed Village Association are trying to raise £100,000 to support the George House Trust Welfare Fund and the LGBT Foundation Free Condom and Lube Distribution Service. So, we are asking people to support this fundraising initiative by either the GoFundMe page or by texting a donation. A massive thank you to all of the Pride event organisers across Greater Manchester for all of the work that they have done to help pull this together, as well as the fabulous, talented artists and all of the people behind the scenes as well, who have all given their time for free. Have a fabulous day and enjoy my darlings. See you soon. Woo! Hello everybody! It's me, Cheddar Gorgeous, and welcome to the wonderful pop here in Hyde for the first ever Greater Manchester Digital Pride. And what a day we have ahead of you. We've got a wonderful crew here. And can we hear from you again, just so they know you're real? There we go. It wasn't an applause track, but we did force them to do it in order to give atmosphere to the stream. We have got 10 hours of live entertainment. No, it's not all live entertainment, is it? But there's 10 hours of it. There's 10 hours of entertainment for you today. It's going to be a heady mix of some live performances, some beautiful pre-recorded content, important messages of support, and of course, a big old pride disco to round off the night. So you stick with us all the way through until 10 p.m. tonight for some truly wonderful moments that you will not want to miss. There will be fun, there will be dancing, there will be fabulous 
fierceness. But we'll also be getting to the very heart of pride. Why we have it, how far we've come, and of course, what still needs to change. Today is truly an inclusive one and will be an absolute riot. So while you wonderful people get all this top class entertainment, completely free, I might add, we are asking that if you can, that you donate. Um, because obviously if you were out watching a show or you were going to do this in real life, you would feel okay with paying for it, wouldn't you? And there are so many amazing causes out there that you can donate to. So we will be raising money for the George House Trust Welfare Fund. That's a round of applause, come on. Do it. And of course, the LGBT Foundation's critically important free condom and lube distribution service. Yes. And the details should be scrolling along the bottom of the screen right now, all day. But if also, if you want to donate at any time, maybe you could save this link on your phone. Maybe casually, if you're having a coffee with your friend and you think, do you know what I want to do right now? I'd like to go and buy a coffee also for some of our amazing community organizations. If you go to www gofundme.com and search for the Target 100K project. Or maybe you just want to donate five pounds by texting Target 100K to 70085. I think the people involved would certainly appreciate it. So I'm going to be with you this afternoon and I'll be handing over to my dear friends, Misty Chance and Belinda Scott. I think Dear Friends was a bit of a stretch, but that's all right. I do like them. Do you know what I mean? I do think they're very, very lovely. And they're going to be taking you through on the late shift all the way to 10 p.m. because I'm quite old and I'll need a nap by that point. We've got acts like Jova and the Whale, House of Ghetto, Rainbow Noir, Minute Taker, The Lovely Sunday Boys, Jai Andrew, and so much more. But before we get into all that gorgeousness, we just have to say a massive thank you to everyone who's made today possible. Now, I'm going to try this again. It's a big list because there have been a lot of people involved in making this happen. So can we say a big thank you to the amazing Carl, Carl Austin Behan, Andy Burnham, lovely message from him a moment ago, the lovely Barry Priest, everyone at Stream GM, Bolton Pride. You can applaud for this one too, guys. This is all of our lovely thanks. <laughs> Bury Pride, Disbury Pride, Levensune Pride, Manchester Gay Village, Oldham Pride, Pride in Trafford, Tameside Pride, Rochdale in Rainbows, Salford Pride, Stockport Pride, and Wigan Pride. The wonderful Talk Talk and Bruntwood and everyone who has come together to provide content for this brilliant event. It's a very, very exciting day. So, on with the show. Over the next hour, you're going to get to see some brilliant performances from Wigan, Tra Trafford, and Stockport Prides, including Hawk Dance Theatre and the Sunday Boys, plus some important messages from the LGBT Foundation and George House Trust. So let's get cracking. Stars shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Say nighty night and Kiss me, just hold me tight and tell me you'll miss me while I'm alone, as blue as can be. Dream a little dream of me. Stars fading, but I linger on, dear. Still craving your kiss I am longing to linger till dawn, dear Just saying this Sweet dreams till sunbeams find you Sweet dreams that leave a worry behind you but in your dreams whatever they be dream a little dream 
love me Sunbeams find you Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you But in your dreams, whatever they be Dream a little dream of me Dream a little dream of me Dream a little dream of me Hello folks, we are called Cobalt Tales, my name's Pat. Hello, I'm Nula. Well, we're so delighted to have been asked to play for Stockport Pride and this first song that we're going to do is from 1981 and it's an absolute classic gay anthem of all time. So it was actually first written in 1964 by Ed Cobb and I guess he never really imagined how it would be reinterpreted and come to represent the fear and the dread that gripped the gay community right at the start of the AIDS epidemic. Sometimes I feel I want to get away I want to hide away from this pain inside of here the Share seems to go away. 
all, Tainted Love, covered by the brilliant Soft Cell back in 1981. Originally, I knew it by Gloria Jones, because I'm from Wigan, Northern Soul, say no more, Wigan classic, absolute classic. Anyway, this next song is an original, and it's called Stand Tall. So it's about not living in fear, about seizing the day, about seizing the joy, and about living as bright and as shiny as we were all born to live. So let's all stand tall, all five foot two and a quarter of me. <laughs> Every reet, we reet. Oh, what? Two, three, and. Cobalttails.com. We'll be putting lists up there of some upcoming gigs. And if you're fam if you're familiar with Stockport, we've actually got in the pipeline monthly, the first month Monday of the month, we're going to be setting up these gigs at the Spinning Top in Stockport. It's right by the train station. Uh, you can't go wrong. So come and check us out there. Uh, we'd love to have your company. So happy Pride! Yeah, enjoy the rest of the show, folks, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Cheers Bye. for now. Bye. The coronavirus pandemic is having a detrimental impact on the LGBTQ plus community. Findings from the Queer and Teen study show that 72% of LGBTQ plus people reported high levels of depressive symptoms during the pandemic. Experiencing discrimination or harassment because of one's sexual orientation or gender identity was associated with a three-fold increase in the likelihood of reporting depression. A report by the LGBT Foundation found that LGBTQ plus people also faced increasing difficulties accessing health and social services. In both studies, participants reported feeling isolated and cut off from others in the LGBTQ plus community. Some people also reported feeling unsafe at home. One transgender respondent put it in these terms. 
Being transgender in a household that doesn't accept me is difficult, but before isolation, I could escape to a friend's house for support. That's no longer an option. If you're having a difficult time, you are not alone. There's a huge range of LGBTQ plus organizations that are running their services remotely. LGBT Foundation has a range of online events and a telephone befriending service. Several LGBTQ plus organizations have helplines and other services. Check out Consortium's online directory for support in your area. Volunteering is another great way to connect with other LGBTQ plus people. We're going through a hard time. Reach out to others in the community if you need help.
up, don't put up with the stuff, don't you do it. Oh, if you've had your thrill, get the check, pay the bill, you can do it. And tell him to just get out there's nothing else to talk about. Pack your swing, come and throw him out. Just look him in the eye and simply shout. Enough is enough, is enough. I can't go on. No, enough is enough. I want him out. I want him out that door now. I always dream that find the perfect lover. But he turned out to be like every other man I've loved, I've loved, I've loved, I've loved, I've loved. I've loved. Enough is enough, is enough. I Then let's hear on to the next one. <laughs> Do you have any fans of Whitney Houston? Woo! Heartbeat inside of me I keep your photograph inside my bed Live in a world of fantasies I can get you out of my head uh, I keep waiting for the phone to ring all night Oh, you wanna make me feel so good I gotta love my own, babe I shouldn't get so hung up on you Remember the way that we touch I wish I did it like it too much uh, uh, I am so emotional, baby Every time I think of you I am so emotional, baby In a shocking world, love can do In a shocking world, love can do Shocking what love can do. I gotta watch you walk in the room, baby. I gotta watch you walk out. Uh -huh. I like your hand on the way you move. And when you talk, I just watch your mouth. Oh, I remember the way that we touch. I wish I did it like it so much. So emotional, baby. Every time I think of you, I get so emotional, baby. It's shocking what love can do. I get so emotional, baby. Every time I think of you, I get so emotional, baby. It's shocking what. A love can do A second what love can do Alright, here we go Does anyone know the dance moves to a little bit of Proud Mary? Oh yeah, here we go Here we go, let's get rolling. Left 
took a job in the city Working for the man every night and day And I never lost a minute of saving Worry about the way the things might have been And big wheels keep on turning Brown berry keep on burning Let's see it rolling Rolling, rolling, yeah We're rolling, rolling, yeah, rolling on a river. Let's see ya. One more time. Ready, let's see go mental. Here we go. Two, three. job in the city working for the man every night and day and I never lost a man and I see him worry about the way the things might have been and big wheels keep on turning around Mary keep on burning rolling rolling rolling, rolling on the river that's it rolling 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 on the river keep up if you come down through the river Bet you're gonna find some people who live Don't, don't have no money, money. Don't, don't have, have to no worry money. People on the river are happy to give And big wheels keep on turning Josie is one of LGBT Foundation's newest volunteers. She joined the Rainbow Brew Buddies team in April 2020. Rainbow Brew Buddies is a service that was started in response to COVID-19, but I'll let her explain a little bit more. Hi Josie, Hello. thank Hi. you so much for coming out and joining us for Volunteers Week, celebrating volunteers across LGBT Foundation. So what volunteer role do you do here at the Foundation? I'm a Rainbow Brew Buddy, um, which I started about this time last year. So Rainbow Brew Buddies is basically a befriending service where you have just one, well, some people have more than one buddy, but you have a buddy um, which you call once a week for between six and eight weeks helping people with isolation and loneliness really. So talking about anything, um, just being sort of a friendly ear to support people in the community. Great. And what do you like about volunteering with us? I've really enjoyed the role. Like it's it's a really good experience because I think I want to work more in sort of mental health and um, like community organising and stuff in the future. So that's been brilliant. The connection as well with the people. I've been really fortunate to have buddies that I get along really well with. So that's been great. And I think just being part of the community and being able to give back I'm quite fortunate that I've not really experienced much like homophobia or prejudice in my life as a yeah. queer person. So being able to sort of use that privilege and like, um, yeah, help with the people who are struggling in the community is just gorgeous, really. And like the other people who volunteer are brilliant. So great. Right. And what really nice. do you have quite a good connection with your volunteer team? Yeah, we do. So we we've not got to meet in person yet, which is a shame. Yeah. Hopefully soon. Um, but we have sort of semi-regular. Um, 
the Zoom supervision, so there's often the same faces showing up, and they're just lovely. Like, I, there's like a really nice range of ages and backgrounds, so it's just, it just feels really nice. And, Great. Yeah. And why do you think volunteering is important to you? I think it kind of links back to what I was just saying about sort of my own privilege and like where yeah. I want to go with my career as well. Like, if I've got the time to give back to the community, like, I, why wouldn't you? And how do you think the pandemic is going to affect the Rainbow Brew Buddy service? We started during the pandemic. Um, I think it was either in March or April last year that it sort of got up and running. And that was partly because of a, like a bigger demand for, well, people feeling more isolated. So I guess hopefully as we come out of lockdown, like statistically there will be less people experiencing isolation, but equally it's not going to be something that just goes away. And I think yeah. in the society that we live in anyway, isolation is a real issue so I imagine there will keep being a demand for it and hopefully like there'll be more volunteers as it yeah just as it grows great yeah. well thank you so much we really appreciate everything you do for us and um just thank you yeah. for your thank contribution you for being such a welcoming team as well it's oh. welcome Laurie manages our Pride and Aging programme, which was launched by Sarah and McKellen in June 2019. Let's hear from them and find out why they think volunteering is so important at LGBT Foundation. Hi Laurie. Hello. Thanks so much for joining us today. I wanted to start by asking you a bit about the volunteers that you supervise and look after at the Foundation. So I manage a number of teams of volunteers. Uh, one of them is our Rainbow Brew Buddies volunteers. And I'm also, I, I manage the Pride and Aging programme and there's a number of volunteer teams within that programme. And why do you think volunteering imp is important? Volunteering is important for our community because um, it helps people to kind of connect to us and um, it's just really lovely that people want to kind of give their time to us as LGBT Foundation. Yeah. I think it's really important for LGBT Foundation because there's, there's such a diverse range of people volunteering for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. From people from the LGBT community in Manchester mm -hmm. and across the, the country. Yeah. Um, to LGBT allies as well who really want to give something back to the LGBT community. So yeah. everyone who gives their time, we're just so thankful for that. Absolutely. And I, as a sort of former volunteer programme manager, I've also seen whole families come to volunteer over Pride and travelling really far distances just to come and get involved with the community. And Yeah, definitely. I mean, volunteers really extend our visibility into the community so much. And as well as that, and through the kind of roles they do, be it kind of being out in the village as part mm. of Village Angels or picking up the phone on our helpline, for example, or just marching with us at Pride. Yeah. They really give us that extended visibility into the community. Like an extended family, really, aren't they? They are, but I think we also learn a lot from our volunteers as well. We so do. they kind of bring their own stories with them and their yeah. own experiences, their yeah. own passions. And skills and talents. And, yep. so that, you know, amongst the volunteer base, there's so many different kind of diversity of skills as well. What do you love about volunteers? The passion and energy that they bring, it just, you know, it's one of my favourite parts of the week, kind of yeah. working with our volunteer teams yeah. and whether it be kind of having a meeting with them to kind of work out what's next for this area of work yeah. or kind of feed the feedback from them about the work that they've been doing, mm. you know, I think it's that energy and that passion that they bring, which just, yeah. you know, adds so much to our work at LGBT Foundation. It lifts our spirits, doesn't it? It does. I would say, working with volunteers and, and you know, because it's, a, it's different people all the time, Everybody that comes in is really keen and enthusiastic and that, get, you know, if we're working really hard as well, that gives us a boost and reminds us how and why we're doing what we're doing, basically. Definitely. That's wonderful. Well, thank you for talking with me today, Laurie. Thank you, Charlotte. Okay. Ian is one of our longest standing volunteers at LGBT Foundation and the amount of roles he's had can't be counted on both hands. We sat down with him in Sackville Gardens to understand why he likes volunteering with LGBT Foundation so much. 
Hello. Hello, Ian. Hi there, Ria. Thank you for coming along with us today. You are and welcome. Celebrating volunteering at LGBT Foundation. Yeah, pleasure. So, what volunteer role do you do at LGBT Foundation? The uh, primary one is on the archive team, uh, which we normally work over at Central Library. That includes uh, cataloguing the various subject areas of the LGBT Foundation archive and plus the trans uh, forum archive as well. well it also gives a capacity for uh, researchers including university researchers to uh, pop in to have a look uh, at any of the material they wish to look at in connection with the studies we have handling sessions uh, every so often where the public can have a look at uh, various areas coupled with the archive project is the oral history project the oral history questions include aspects such as uh, when they came out or in the case of uh, trans transitioning side of it, if they have been, their experiences of reactions from family, friends, etc. Uh, any experiences of the scene, activism, also the care sector, the health sector and uh, the financial sector as well. Uh, they've been very uh, successful, we've had some really good interviews. Also, um, a member of the Pride in Ageing uh, advisory group as well, which uh, we uh, focus on older LG, LGBT, uh, Q, uh, 50 plus, generally speaking. Also, the Rainbow Group Buddhist Project as well. I also represent the Foundation on uh, Wigan Pride Committee and I'll also a joint community lead on that as well. And also I have been uh, done various things in the past of uh, distributing the safe sex packs out northwest when it was in operation and of course taking part in Pride with the parade, the vigil, uh, the cafe, you know, uh, the expo, you name it, the various aspects of that. So you've done so many roles with us over the years. Yeah, sure, Ian. yeah. So yeah. can you tell us a bit about why you love volunteering with LGBT Foundation? Yeah, surely. Yeah. Uh, the Foundation is the uh, one of the key organisations for the LGBTQ community. It gives a sense of putting a bit back into the uh, community. You get the teamwork, the uh, friendliness, generally a sense of belonging as well too. And why do you think volunteering is important at LGBT Foundation? I would say primarily a sense of uh, doing, helping. For some people uh, that's perhaps uh, in the job market it can be uh, added to their CV as well. Again it can give a sense of uh, putting back in you know into the uh, into the community as well. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you for coming out on this grey, grey day. We yeah. really appreciate it. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah. LGBT Foundation simply couldn't run without its volunteers. Whether you volunteer for us once a week or once a year, thank you from all of us. Hello everyone, I hope you're having the digital pride of your life and you're having an amazing time. It's such a pleasure to be able to join you and talk about the great work of George House Trust. So my name's Darren and I work at George House Trust and we're a charity that supports people living with and affected by HIV. Everything that happens in our organisation is around people living well, living confidently and healthily with HIV. From our counselling service to our group support to our one-to-one -one advice and everything in between. But I'm here today to talk to you about the great work of the Village Licensed Business Association, or VLBA as the friends call them. They've done some amazing work in fundraising for ourselves at George House Trust, an LGBT foundation, for our welfare fund and their condom and loop distribution scheme. And I'm really, really proud, proud and pleased 
to be involved in this exciting initiative that's raising lots of money to help us support people who are really struggling to live well with HIV. So whatever you're able to donate, please chuck it in to the VLBA fundraiser this weekend and support two great charities working to make a positive difference to people in Greater Manchester and beyond. But most important from us, help people living with HIV, to tackle stigma, to live the lives they choose and to live well. Thank you so much. Have a great digital pride. What did I tell you? Don't look at my feet. Hello and welcome back to the wonderful pop here. Who doesn't love to start the afternoon with a proud Mary, eh? Thank you so much. Or was it a bloody Mary? Why not both? That's what I say. Welcome back to this wonderful day-long Pride event where we are enjoying the amazing talents of the LGBTQ plus community for our first ever GM Pride. GM Digital Pride at that. The show has been brought to you by Prides from all across the region because they've been going on behind the scenes. You may not have seen them, the smaller prides happening, but they've been happening all over our amazing Greater Manchester area. And we, of course, are raising money for the wonderful George House Trust Welfare Fund and the LGBT Foundation's free condom and lube distribution service. So if you can, get on and make that little donation by going over to www.gofundme.com and searching for the Target 100K project. Or you can also text donate five pounds to text Target 100K to 785. That's 70085. Just text Target 100K. Do it now, everybody. Oh. We've got a whole load of brilliant stuff still to come. Don't go away. We've got Kylie. Ky Kylie? Kylie and Wigan. Is that correct? Well, we've got Kylie in Wigan. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm just, I'm not going to put a disclaimer there. It's absolutely fine. We've got the wonderful Trans Vegas coming up. We've got Rochdale Rainbows and much, much more. But kicking off this next hour, we've got a special treat for you. We've got a little bit of live entertainment in the house here at Pop Over, over in, over in Hyde. And um, so welcoming to the stage, the wonderful Jova and The Wave who described themselves as unapologetically Latinx, queer, and political. Just my kind of human being. Over to you, Jova. I'm gonna put some Latinidad up in this bitch because it's sorely needed. Va subiendo la corriente con chinchorro y atarraya La canoa de bareque para llegar a la playa Va subiendo la corriente con chinchorro y atarraya La canoa de bareque para llegar a la playa El pescador habla con la luna, habla con la playa no tiene fortuna, solo su atarraya. El pescador habla con la luna, el pescador habla con la playa. No tiene fortuna, solo su atarraya. Regresan los pescadores con su carga para vender al puerto de sus amores, donde tiene su querer. Regresan los pescadores con su carga para vender al puerto de sus amores donde tienen su querer. El pescador habla con la luna, el pescador habla con la playa. No tiene fortuna, solo su atarraya. El pescador habla con la luna, el pescador habla con la playa. No tiene fortuna, solo su atarraya. ¡Epa, eh! Yo me llamo Cumbia, yo soy la reina por donde voy No hay una cadera que se esté quieta por donde yo estoy Mi piel es morena como los cueros de mi tambor Y mis sombras son un par de maracas que besa el sol Y mis sombras son un par de maracas que besa el sol Yo nací en las bellas playas caribes de mi país 
soy barranquillera, cartagenera, yo soy de allí. Soy de Santa Marta, soy monteriana, pero eso sí. Yo soy colombiana, oh tierra hermosa, donde nací. Yo soy colombiana, oh tierra hermosa, donde nací. El pescador habla con la luna, el pescador habla con la playa. No tiene fortuna, solo su atarraya. El pescador habla con la luna, el pescador habla con la playa. No tiene fortuna, solo su atarraya. El pescador habla con la luna, el pescador habla con la playa. No tiene fortuna, solo su atarraya. El pescador habla con la luna, el pescador habla con la playa. No tiene fortuna, solo su atarraya. Thank you very much. Now I reveal the eye makeup, which I painstakingly did on the train. <laughs> so take a look. Appreciate it for a moment. Thank you. <laughs> okay. This next song is called Hurt, and it's my first single. It's an out on all streaming platforms. I even did a music video. So you should go check it out after this. But anyway, this is the acoustic version. It's cute. It's called Hurt. When you hurt me, did you change or stay the same? Did you regret? Did you do all you could to make amends? Did you forgive me? When you hurt me, did you change or stay the same? Did you regret? Did you do all you could to make amends? Were you there for me? And I never wanted to fight, never wanted to blame you. I just lied to myself every night, holding on to this hurt. So tight. No queda más aulas. Estoy aquí. No tengo miedo del silencio que hay en ti. Me has silenciado, pero nunca más. Estoy libre y no volveré jamás. you met me, I was hurting, I was healing, I was scared, so confused, but you caught me unaware. You were kind to me. When you met me, I thought love was something I could never feel. I was so dominated by that fear But you were there for me And oh, I know we'll be alright We will make their mistakes this time We won't lie We won't hold on so tight To the hurt that we Keep inside. No queda más jaulas. Estoy aquí. No tengo miedo del silencio que hay en mí. Me has aceptado y me confiaré. Estoy libre y no he más de temer. No tengo más dudas. Te tengo a ti. Tengo miedo del silencio que hay en mí. Ya esas cadenas las dejé atrás. Estoy libre y no volveré jamás. Oh.
Don't lose your head over it. Don't lose your heart over it. Don't lose your love over it. Don't lose yourself over it. Don't lose your head over it. Don't lose your heart over it. Don't lose your love over it. Don't lose yourself over it. Don't lose your head over it. Don't lose your heart over it. Don't lose your love over it. Don't lose yourself over it. Don't lose your head over it. Don't lose your heart over it. Don't lose your love over it. Don't lose yourself over it. Don't lose your head over it. Don't lose your heart over it. Don't lose your love over it. Don't lose yourself over it. Don't lose your head over it. Don't lose your heart over it. Don't lose your love over it. Don't lose yourself over it. Thank you. I'm going to give a chance to y'all at home to look it up on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, whatever the fuck you want. It's Hurt by Jova and the Wave. Anyway, this next song is where things start to get political. Now, um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Chilean and Colombian. And in Chile, in the 70s, there was a coup, which resulted in a military fascist dictatorship backed by the CIA, the United States, the UK, and other countries. Um, those of you, a, a lot of you might know uh, what happened recently in Afghanistan, um, the 20 year long occupation of the US and its allies in Afghanistan led to uh, the fall of Kabul to the Taliban. Um, and this song that I wrote is called Peacekeeper, which uh, is really about anti-colonialist struggles because anti-colonialist struggles are queer struggles because those of us who got the worst of it are queer, black, brown, disabled, trans, and so on and so forth. So we must oppose anti-colonialism wherever we see it, and that is anywhere in the world. So this is Peacekeeper. May he save our souls, may he save us from each other. May he lead the way, sacrificing our sisters and brothers. Oh, may we soon, soon forget. Oh, all that we have left. May our children be everything he ever wanted may he raise the earth terrorize rebirth and salt it oh may we soon soon forget forget oh all that we have left Peace keeper Peace keeper May the land be sold poison for a higher purpose May we learn at last, love and peace are to be purchased. Oh, oh we are fools, but we are strong, strong. Oh, oh remember what he's done. This Wolf 
find a way. We'll 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 find a way. We never need a day. Thank you. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be my last song. <laughs> yes, moan, moan for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> um, this is gonna be a little change of pace because I wanna end on a high note. Um, but those of us who are marginalized, whether we are queer or people of color or disabled or so on and so forth, We've always have to deal with bullshit. And this song is called Open Your Eyes, and this is about all the people who are full of bullshit. <laughs> Who's the one who keeps on making excuses? For the man with the plan and his fans who take any cheap shot, any chance they got. Who's the one who keeps on talking this bullshit? When your love is a gun and your peace is a noose and you ignore everything you've ever done. Ow, ow, ow! Uh, who's the one who keeps on talking this bullshit? Well, if you think about it, aren't we all just human? Well, maybe so, but some of us more than others. Are we human if we die and you don't bat an eye and write on cue, you go on camera and that's when you cry? I don't need no sympathy from a bitch who only wants to silence me. Ow! an awful lot about humanity but ain't ever done a goddamn thing for me ah! come on now are you the one with the over dependent ego <laughs> do you feel the pressures need to be the center of everything really bitch well do you really think you're a good fucking person when you hide behind your decency to cover up your lack of morality and nothing but a vanity project I don't want your fucking help You do more harm than good You're only really looking out for yourself You think you're so fucking sweet But you're a wolf in sheep's clothing And you're devouring me And you're devouring me This is where shit starts to get real Brad and Karen had it too easy Never had to develop personalities They never had to think for themselves, they were just told they were better than everyone else. They got a minivan in a suburban house. Never stopped to think if they had any doubts about the world around them and Mother Earth. About all the other cultures they did and think were worth their time. About the people bleeding at the eyes so they could live their comfortably empty lives. About the black and brown people dying on the streets. About the stolen land they call the country. And if you think they really give a damn, you got another thing come and still don't understand. People are more than just nice and mean Things are and always as they seem So forget what you know and expand your mind Look through the veil and tell me what you find Open your eyes, open your eyes, open them 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 Come on and open them Why don't you open them? You gotta look your eyes and look ahead. You gotta open your eyes. 
You got to open your eyes. Don't look away now. Open your eyes, open your eyes, up and down. Thank you. Destiny has a funny way when it comes and takes all your cares 
of us It had gone before It don't care Sing it! Come on and hear you sing it! Don't be proud of Just give me a little bit more It don't care And let's hear you sing all the lovers through me all this time I had forgotten people are kind I was hurting and you knew so you showed me what to do you said I will listen tell it all when you're finished we'll talk more but I didn't know how so we took it in turns to my surprise we found my words Firm on the ground We stood hand in hand The world seemed to tell me That I have a plan Dang I'm ready now Something new Something strange, ten feet taller, I had changed I believe you, I'm not wrong Oh, it suits me to feel strong You said I will listen, tell me it all You don't like the ending, then we'll find one that's yours Oh, how did you know, that's all we need A promise of hope is enough to feel free Feet firm on the ground we stood hand in hand And I told the world That I have a plan Together we sang I'm ready now
Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Watson. I'm the Chief Constable for Greater Manchester Police. It's a huge privilege to be invited to contribute to this digital streaming event to celebrate Pride. And it's a huge honour to be asked to participate and to speak to so many of our LGBTQ plus communities. We, of course, in GMP stand ready to do all that you, our constituents, might require of us, your police force. This is a novel event. It's a fun event. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for inviting me to participate. God bless. You're so hypnotizing Could you be the devil? Could you be an angel? You're touch magnetizing Feels like I am floating Leaves my body glowing They say be afraid You're not like the others Futuristic lovers Dear friend DNA They don't understand you You're from a hell of the world In a dear friend dimension you've opened my eyes i'm ready to go lead me into the light kiss me you could kiss me infect me with your love and fill me with your poison take me out to take me wanna be a victim ready for abduction boy you're an alien your touch so foreign Supernatural, extraterrestrial You're so supersonic Wanna feel your powers, tell me with your lasers Your kiss is cosmic, every move's magic You're from a hell of the world In a different dimension You open my eyes Kiss me, k -k kiss me, infect me with your love and fill me with your poison. Take me out, to take me, wanna be a victim, ready for abduction. Boy, you're an alien, your touch so foreign, it's supernatural. This is transcendental. On another level Boy, you're my lucky star I wanna walk on your wavelengths And be there when you vibrate For you, I'd risk it all I'd risk it all Take me, wanna be a victim, ready for abduction Boy, you're an alien, your touch so foreign It's supernatural, extraterrestrial Extraterrestrial Terrestrial boy, you're an alien. Your touch so foreign, in supernatural, extraterrestrial. What is the pink picnic? I hear you ask. Well, let me tell you. It all started as a picnic in 2011, which expected only around 15 LGBT people attending. 120 people then arrived. Year after year, the picnic became more and more popular. A celebration organised by the community, for the community, delivering fundraisers, awareness and educational projects throughout the year. Now this is the Pink Picnic in 2019. Dancing to a different tempo could just be an echo I've been reflecting my perspective and now I know the love is never simple 
no matter high or low And if it brings you pain, then it's okay for you to let go We don't need no drama, don't need problems in my head We don't need no drama, dance with my body But 
So if you try to dump me, you won't try that again. <laughs> I'm that Berlin girl and I'm up next. See, I broke England from the church. Yeah, I'm that sexy. Why did I lose my head? Well, my sleeves may be green, but my lipstick's red. Die. Jane Seymour, the only one he truly loved. Rude. When my son was newly born, I died. But I'm not what I seem, or am I? 
Hey, stick around and you'll suddenly see more. Ich bin Anna of Cleves. Ja. When he saw my portrait, he was like, Ja. But I didn't look as good as I did in my pic. Funny how we all discussed that, but never Henry's little prick up your ears. I'm the Catherine who lost her head. The head is for my promiscuity outside of wed. Lock up your husbands, lock up your sons. Key Howard is here, and the fun's begun. Five down, I'm the final wife. I saw him to the end of his life. I'm the survivor, Catherine Paul. I bet you wanna know how I got this far. I said, I bet you wanna know how we got this far. Hey. Do you wanna know how we got this far? Somebody to love, find me somebody to love. 
find me somebody to love find me somebody to love
faces that are grown between us and I cut my mind on the second base. All the scars that come with the greenness and I gave my mind to the border. Still the sea bed wouldn't let me in and I tried my best to embrace the darkness in which I swim. Now I'm walking back down this mountain with the strength of the turning tide or oh, the wind so soft on my skin. Yeah, the sun is so hot upon my side Oh, looking out at this happiness I search for between the sheets Feeling blind And I realize All I was searching for was me Oh, oh, oh All I was searching for was me Oh, yeah Keep your head up Keep your heart strong no, 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 keep your mindset, keep your hair long Oh my, my darling, keep your hair up, keep your heart strong No, 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 keep your mindset in your ways And keep your heart strong Well, I saw a friend of mine the other day he told me that my eyes were gleaming No, I said I'd been away And he knew Oh, he knew the depths I was dreaming And it felt so good To see his face All oh, the comfort invested in my soul All oh, the feel the warmth Of a smile But he said I'm happy to have you home Oh, oh I'm happy to have you home Keep your heart strong No, 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 no Keep your mindset Keep your hair long Oh my, my darling Keep your hair up Keep your heart strong No, 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 no Keep your mindset in your ways And keep your heart strong Cause I'll always remember Eyes like wild flowers, oh, and the demons of change. Oh, may you find happiness here. Oh, yeah. keep your head up, keep your heart. Like wild flowers, oh, and the demons of change. Jessica Rankin is an LGBTQ plus a contemporary artist who lives and works in New York. The slow process of embroidery and needlework, traditionally associated with female domesticity, allows Rankin to think and record her memories to create contemporary landscapes or maps within the organdi fabric. This meticulous approach to her creativity provides the opportunity for her mind to wander and for her to concentrate on her thoughts. I like this song. So the fact that I have yeah. yeah. Because I think she puts too much effort in there and it's all handmade, yeah. and you know the handmade things always not very accurate all the time, yeah. Yeah. Because um, uh, you have to put too much effort in there. This looks very nice, and you know that's I like this one. Mm -hmm. We should, I think, appreciate the people who do handmade things here. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, I agree. Yeah, because this this art is dying nowadays. Yeah. The handmade because everything is you know uh, you know 
um, overcoming by the machines, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's why you know we should appreciate the people you know, who's doing, you know, the things and textures and everything uh, yeah. with the hands. You know. Adrian Berg was an openly gay artist in London in the 1960s and 70s, at a time when it was illegal and therefore dangerous for LGBTQ plus people to openly express their sexuality. For over 20 years, the focus for Adrian Berg's work was the view of Regent's Park from his studio window and home at Gloucester Gate, London. In this observational painting of the park landscape, Berg has played with the composition to offer seasonal strips of the same view, using bold colours and different levels of detail and texture to signal the changing seasons within the narrow field of view. These iridescent bands make the painting at first appear abstract. However, by looking closely, the viewer can begin to differentiate distinct moments in the repeated yet changing landscape. I really like this painting because it just shows up all like different seasons and I just really like the representation of it being the same, but there's still change yeah. in the same situation. I think it's either this one or the window pitting over there, mostly yeah. because of all the bright colours and the sort of soft summery tones of it. It's really yeah. colourful. And I really like the representation that it was made by a, a gay man and yeah. you know he was very open about it and I just really yeah, I like it. If we were to um going completely off that, if we were to start doing like projects where we wanted sort of volunteer groups to come in and um, help us sort of uncover story LGBTQ stories, is that something you guys would be interested in at all? Hello, it's me again, Cheddar Gorgeous, and welcome back to GM Pride Digital Stream here at the wonderful Pop in Hyde. We've had some amazing performances, but we're just getting started. We're here all the way through until 10 p.m. So do remember to pop those donations in. We are raising money for the George House Trust Welfare Fund and the LGBT Foundation Condom and Lube Free Distribution Service. So you can do that by going to GoFundMe.com com and you just search for target 100k or if you've got one of those mobile telephone things you can text to 70085 target 100k all in capital letters there's really no excuse not to support our wonderful community organizations I'm going to be introducing you in just a moment to our wonderful next host for the day because I'm quite old, so we'll need to go and have my afternoon nap before long. So we're going to be joined by the lovely Misty Chance. And Misty and I are going to be talking to our fabulous friend, Carl Austin Behan, in just a moment. But before we get gassing, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what to expect over the next hour. We've got the Levenshulme Pride March, we've got House of Ghetto, we've got Sally Alabaster, Queen at Stockport Pride, and more Rochdale in rainbows. But before all of that wonderfulness, can I please welcome to the stage, and I'm talking to you, crew, you're going, because you're my audience, you have to give us a huge round of applause, please, the wonderful Misty Chance and the lovely Carl. <laughs> 
I was expecting a round of applause on the, on a live stream. Hello, everybody. Hello, Cheddar. Hello. Would you like to introduce yourselves? It's what it says here. I, I mean, I just introduce you, but go ahead. I, yeah, I shall. My Facts. name's Misty. Misty Chance, or Chance, depending on where you're from in the country. Uh, and you can usually find me um, lurking around uh, Canal Street and the surrounding uh, areas in uh, pubs, clubs, restaurants, bars, kebab shops. The street. The street. The gutter. Against lampposts, in the park, by the canal, uh, all of the above. Yeah. And that's well, where I've seen Misty most of the times. Yeah, well, I think that's where we first met, isn't it, Carl? <laughs> it what is. Wonderful <laughs> beacons, cultural icons. <laughs> and I'm Carl Austin Bean, and I'm the LGBT advisor to the Mayor of Greater Manchester, and it's a pleasure to be here. So we could... Yes! Round of applause! <laughs> Energy up! <laughs> woo, woo. Oh, so, Carl... What do you think? Um, what do you think is so important about events like this one that we're doing today? Well, for this one specific, uh, specifically, I think it's really important that the fact that you know we bring in uh, the whole LGBTQ plus community across Greater Manchester together, and this is the first. This is amazing to actually have a collaboration across Greater Manchester with all the different Pride organisers um, and the groups, and and just bringing them together in a way that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do that, even because you know we know that there isn't. Some places haven't had a, a, a live event at all this year. So it, it gives that opportunity for people to sit back, to sort of sort of watch the event and actually see a lot of different acts that you wouldn't normally see at their local Pride event. Do you think, I mean, this is to both of you really, do you think it has been a particularly challenging year and what has been particularly challenging for the LGBTQ plus community? Uh, there's no doubt it's been challenging. It's been very, very tough uh, on a lot of people, especially our community that suffers uh, possibly more than others from things like loneliness, mental health. Um, there's perhaps a lot of LGBT plus people that aren't around their families and things like that. So over lockdown where they don't have access to their um, social bubbles and their friends uh, and their meeting places uh, like the uh, the bars and the uh, sort of uh, groups and community groups that we have down in the village. Um, it's it's So it's been particularly difficult and we've been hit quite hard actually. Well, that's, I th and I think you'll know this from the work that you do, Misty, and also from the work you do, Carl, in the kind of community organisation stuff. For many, many queer people, actually, they don't have those fully formed regular bubbles that other people were able to fall back on. You know, some of us are lucky to have that, but actually there's plenty in our community who don't, so they depend on the bar. You know, we can we can trivialise it and think of it as a form of entertainment, but actually this the bar it. is home. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people, and uh, some of the pubs that I work in, uh, certainly, that, that attract, uh, maybe, shall we say, um, the older generation, more mature audience. There are many, many Elders. people there that um, come in on their own, and mm. they're... they're adopted family is in that place and when that place is closed down for 14 months uh, it leaves them really nowhere to go sort of not just physically but mentally as well so and, and also with not having the pride events taking place and also the fact that a lot of people who who were sort of coming to that stage of maybe just come out as well and then having to go back in the closet in, in a, and, and also because people were working from home they may be working in homes that are actually they're with people who are homophobic or the fact that they're not being able to be themselves in, in their own environment. So especially with mental health and well-being, it's, it's had a massive effect. And I think that, you know, as, we, as we're coming out, we need to remember the fact that for some people who've been in isolation, it's going to be really, really difficult for people to come out and actually be themselves and to sort of, to sort of be around people who, who are likewise with them. And how do you think we can create more support? What sort of things would you guys like to see happening? Well, things like this is a start, which is sort of picking up the slack from uh, over a year of cancellation after cancellation after cancellation of events that people look forward to the whole year through. Um, some of the suburb prides are some of the, the best pride events that you're ever going to get anywhere. Um, and it's, it's great to see your local community in your hometown coming out, whether you might sort of think in the bigger picture, we've got a, a huge pride in Manchester, why would we need one in Bolton? Why would we need one in Tame? all those sorts of places? Uh, but it's massively important to demonstrate to the local population that, you know, we're here and queer and 
That's it matters most. And, and that, that's, why, that's why it does matter. Especially, you know, I'm, I'm massively passionate about the local prides because, you know, to see a pride in Disbury and Levenshulme and to sort of, you know, in Bolton, in Wigan Town Centre, you know, to, to actually see the rainbows, to see all the flags, to see the bi flag, the trans flag, you know, and it actually, because people come to that, it's, it's okay, and, and just walking through and actually see it, and they actually realise it, it is a family environment as well. And it's not something to be ashamed of. It's not something to feel that we shouldn't be a part of. So that the local prides, and, and what, what's brilliant, for Greater Manchester is the fact that we're the only place in the country that has a pride in every one of its boroughs. And now we've got the local prides yes. as well taking place. You know, so we should really, really be proud of that and really sort of celebrate that. And that's what the today is about celebration across Greater Manchester. So what are you both most looking forward to today? For me personally, it's the fact that we are going from, uh, within the live stream and the live uh, elements of this, we're going from Wigan, we're going to Rochdale, we're going to Bolton, we're going to Bury, we're going to Salford, we're going to Stretford, we're going, you know, we, we're going to everywhere across Greater Manchester. So it doesn't mean that everyone's just sort of watching one element. We're literally going in and out. And also the fact that we're seeing over 50 acts, um, all different, all, you know, whether that's in someone's kitchen, whether it's in, 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 in the woods, whether it's in a case if it's on a stage, you know, people have been so ad adventurous by putting this together. And that's why I say a massive thank you uh, on a personal level to everyone at Stream GM for believing in this, for everyone, um, a part of the production team, everyone who's been involved, very, uh, Barry Priest, he's done an amazing job. Also Talk Talk and Bruntwood, couldn't have happened without the support of everybody. And also with yourselves and everyone who's been a part of this, all the, all the great Manchester Prize. I'm really proud and I'm passionate about what I believe in. And today is, 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 is brilliant for me. Yeah, absolutely. Just to second that, it's to it's to make contact with the people that perhaps wouldn't have access. Because coronavirus, it was a thing. It is still actually a thing. There are some people out there that are still vulnerable and are not um, coming out into the community as much as they would have before this. So it's going to reach those people. It's going to introduce them to, to new things, new acts uh, that they wouldn't have seen. And it's just a connection to the community that uh, they, wouldn't have, they wouldn't have had without this stream. Absolutely. I'm going to run off now and have a little wander around the streets of Hyde, go and do my little bit for visibility, you know what I mean, give them all a sparkle. But I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of my dear friend and sister, Misty Chance. Thank you, Chedda. Good job. There she goes. As Cheddar says, uh, I shall be here with you for the next few hours, hosting with you. Uh, right now, we're going to go over um, to, uh, um, sorry, we're going to kick things off, actually, uh, with the wonderful Levenshume Pride March, everybody, on our first ever GM Digital Pride. Enjoy. <laughs> Much of us for your part.
for your vitality.
Hello, Digital Pride. My name is Paul Martin. I'm the Chief Executive of LGBT Foundation and my pronouns are he and him. Thank you so very, very much for all of your support today to the LGBT Foundation. Our work started in 1975 and we've been changing the lives of LGBT people ever since. Over the last five decades, we've provided the widest range of services and support to the largest number of LGBT people than any other organisation of our kind in the UK. We've also been at the forefront of the campaign for social and legal justice, and that means that we have supported more LGBT people to achieve more rights and protections than ever before. Based in Manchester, uh, we are a national charity and every year we serve over 40,000 people and our work is as urgent and vital now as it's ever been. Through our services and support, we reduce isolation, we help people feel more confident and we enable them to flourish. We work in partnership to build strong, cohesive and influential communities and we are working towards securing a safe, healthy and equal future for all LGBTQ plus people and our allies. Thank you from the bottom of our heart for your support uh, today. Every penny that you donate to LGBT Foundation and George House Trust will make a significant difference to uh, meeting the needs of our communities. We've been working in partnership with the Village Business Association who have uh, launched the Target 100, which is what you are supporting um, and hopefully donating to today. And that fund will significantly impact on improving uh, the lives of all people living uh, with HIV, as well as ensuring that all members of the LGBTQ plus uh, community can protect themselves uh, during sex through our condom and lube distribution scheme. Your support is making those two services um, uh, flourish. Um, and thank you so very, very much for everything that you're doing. I hope you're having a brilliant online digital pride. I hope that you've been enjoying the amazing lineup and thank you so much to everybody that's been involved in putting today together. We really, really appreciate it. Cheers and okay. five, six, seven, eight. We like the way we like the way we like the way we 
Under a skyline and undercover Carrying all our lives under a name
Happy Pride, everyone. I'm wishing you a wonderful time here at Stockport and Greater Manchester Pride, celebrating with you diversity, kindness, most of all, love, and making sure that we're supporting everyone within our community. I'm Sally Alabaster Queen, lead singer of The Spins. This is Sunday morning um, by The Spins for you. Enjoy. <laughs> That's my new day It's the best day to change See the world with no hope I Feel the Sunday morning That's my new song I feel the wind through my head I don't care who cares when it's Sunday morning I never seen so many eyes before People listen to words of the souls And keep on dancing and heat up the flow So many eyes are our stars tonight We'll keep dancing this breath of life And we'll keep doing it to the end of time That's my new day, it's a Sunday of smile. No mistakes, no happy ways can change my mind. And 
never seen so many eyes before. People listen to words of the souls and keep on dancing and heat up the flow. So many eyes are stars tonight. We'll keep dancing this breath of life And we'll keep doing it to the end of time Sunday Morning keeps me smiling, keeps me smiling every day. Sunday morning, yeah, keeps me smiling, keeps me smiling. Every day. That was Sunday Morning by The Spins. Uh, check it out. Uh, it's available on Spotify and iTunes. So as a open queer artist, I am honoured to be performing at this virtual Pride. It's so important that we love each other and support each other and we're super kind and it's important that we support our our trans family and our intersex family and our non-binary family and we are all inclusive and we've all been through those battles anyway so this is a little song that i think you all know and i hope that you all join in with me and sing it's a song that i sing regularly to myself and it's a great little tune I like to hide him. Your life ain't worth a damn until you can say I am what I am. I am what I am I don't want praise I don't want pity I bang my own drum Some think it's noise I think it's pretty And so what if I love it Spark on every bangle Why not try to see things From a different angle Your life ain't worth a damn until you can say I am what I am I am what I am And what I am Needs no excuses I deal my own deck Sometimes the yes, sometimes the deuces It's one 
life and there's no return and no deposit Warm life so it's time to open up your closet Your life is a sham until you can shout out I am what I am Who I am Well I'm beautiful I'm sensational I'm incredible Cause I am Well I'm wonderful I'm sensational I'm incredible Cause I am What I am Oh I am What I am Ooh, I am, I'm beautiful, I'm sensational, I'm incredible, cause I am what I am. That was I am what I am and I sing that regularly to myself and you know what it definitely lifts my mood and helps me shift my vibration onto something that makes me feel happy and singing is a great form of meditation as well it really helps um you know lift your spirit and shift your energy and change the spotlight or the focus um, and where you are and you have to be present you can't be in the past or the future so you have to be present so singing is an incredible powerful tool to really shift your mood and your emotion and remember emotions come and go like the weather but always a, a beautiful rainbow afterwards so uh, this is a little song by a um, an LGBTQ plus I legend and um yeah and unfortunately she wasn't able to live the way that she wanted to live so thank you for all those who before us allowed this opportunity for ourselves to be more authentic and just live how we should be you know like human beings diversity so join in with it if you like it or if you know it or both Billy Ray was a preacher's son And when his daddy was busy to come along When he gathered around and started talking That's when Billy would take me walking Through the backyards we go walking Then he looked into my eyes Lord knows to my surprise The only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man the only one who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man Yes, he was Oh, yeah, yes, he was Yes, he was Oh, yeah, yes, he was Being good is not always easy, no matter how I try. When it started sweet talking to me, come and tell me everything is alright. He gets and tell me everything is alright. Can we get away again tonight? The only one who could ever reach me was the son of a preacher man. The only one who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man Yes, he was Oh, yeah, yes, he was Yes, he was Oh, yeah, yes, he was Being good is not always easy No matter how hard I try 
When he started sweet talking to me Tell me everything is every all right Letting in from each knowing Looking to see how much we grow And I'm the only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man The only one who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man Yes, he was Oh yeah, yes he was Yes he was Oh yeah, yes he was Baby don't worry About a thing Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright Baby, don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright When I woke up this morning Yeah, I smiled with the rising sun Three little birds, they pushed by my window Yeah, they were singing Sweet songs of freedom Bob Marley, he says to me Baby, don't worry Oh, about a thing Cause every little thing Is gonna be a Happy Pride, everyone. Thank you for sharing this little moment with me. Keep on loving each other, people. And be kind, most importantly, to yourselves. And be your authentic selves. Lots of love, kindness. Sally, Alabaster Queen, lead singer of The Spins. Mwah! Lots of peace. Hello, my name's Stuart McKenzie. And I was at Rochdale College of Art from 1982 to 1985. As a queer person um, in Middleton or Rochdale, where you was at, um, how was this for you? And did you encounter any discrimination at the time? I think, um, now this is, this is um, it's quite a difficult one. I think being, I didn't know I was queer. I guess everybody else, used to tell me I was queer um, and I mean I knew there was something but I couldn't I was I didn't want to be labeled as anything because I didn't know what what I what I I there's all these words now that you can use, like what, how I identified, etc. But I didn't have a vocabulary. Um, what was one funny? I think in, although I didn't see it in any way derogatory, although obviously it was in the in the Middleton issue. There were subways, and on the subway wall was wrote um, S. Kenzie is F. Gay S. Kenzie is queer. Um, S. Kenzie is a tranny. Um, but I didn't kind of, I just kind of laughed it off. It, I think it, it was still there, not until not that long ago. You know, shows how often they clean the subway. But my mum's friend, Eileen, she saw it. She went home and she told my mum. And um, my mum said to me, you know, Eileen's just seen something written about you in the subway in Middleton, and I hope to God it isn't true. And I, I think mine, my existence was, was I was figuring myself out. You could tell me that and say, you're that or you're that, but I would argue, well, I don't know. I'm actually just figuring myself out. I don't know what is going on. I know I feel a certain way and I have feelings inside etc and I think there's a film Merry Christmas with Mr Lawrence um, where there's a scene in that where David Bowie kind of 
Hokusaruchi Sakamoto in the film goes kind of in slow motion. I remember saying to someone at art college, do you know that bit in Merry Christmas to Lawrence where there's that scene with Bowie and Sakamoto? That's how I feel, you know? And he was like, what? I said, you know, I feel a certain way, but I can't express it, you know? You know, and I, I, I did have girlfriends. I had girlfriends at school. I had girlfriend when I was at art college. Um, I remember there's a guy that I met, he used to knock about with Denise Hardman, this guy called John. He was had little round glasses and skin edge and tight kind of faded kind of Levi jeans and, and DM boots. And he spoke with, it, with, with a really high voice, you know, and he made no bone, bones about the fact that he was gay, you know, and would talk about it quite openly. And, you know, he's a really, you know, a really, a really lovely guy. And in some ways I kind of looked up to him. I remember going to a party that he was at um, and he was there and I just thought he was really cool, you know, and I think, I think there was a him and a, another guy, Keith Chadwick, I think he was called, who were both out, you know, and, and I thought he was really brave um, and just, yeah, just, um, just, yeah, just really kind of brave because I couldn't quite, you know, I wasn't ready to, you know, put a finger on what it was or, 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 or come out, even though even that come out wasn't a phrase that, that I was aware of. Um, sadly, John, I, um, while we were at college, actually, he was knocked off his bike and killed. Um, and that, that was a really, um, sad kind of moment for me I think at art college um but I was never I never apart from the stuff I guess now you'd say that was you know some homophobic a homophobic slur against me but because I didn't I couldn't identify it as that I just was a bit ambivalent to those comments and because I'd had an older brother that had gone through school before me I was kind of in a way protected and, oh, that's Kenzie's brother, you know, yeah, he's a bit of a puff or, you know, he's a bit, he's a bit of a new romantic or he's a Bowie fan or, I, a lot of people say I look cool. I oh, really love the way you look. I look, you look cool with you, your crombie and, and stuff. I think once or twice there was instances of, um, of being, I think one guy was after me, he wanted to beat me up, but, I tend to think he wanted to be because I looked pretty cool and I was cooler than him, had pretty cool hairdo. So I think that might have got his back up more than anything else. Because usually if you're bullied or you get beat up, it says more about the person than it does about you. Because I used to think sometimes when I did get called anything in the street, I think how much power I have to walk down the street to get these involuntary ticks of verbal rubbish coming out of people because I was like, oh, I've got this power to make people say this about me when I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just being cool, walking down the street. You know, I'm 16, I'm 17, just doing my thing, you know. Um, so I think I know there's a lot of kids growing up who don't come from backgrounds or areas where they do feel safe, you know, um, and it's not an option to come out. Um, I remember being at school and somebody says, I saw you on the Gay Pride March. And I was like, well, no, you didn't. You know, I, you know. Um, but there was nothing, I can't, I can't there, there wasn't no role models for us. The only, the only people that you'd see on TV were just gross caricatures, you know, of are you being served or the generation game and, and things like this. And while most people would, laugh at it and make fun of it I think it probably did a great kind of injustice to reinforce stereotypes about what it is to be you know LGBTQ um, I um, so I think it's kind of growing out of those um, awful kind of stereotypes and that specific time you know, I think also, um, what was the bit, I think, because I used to hang out in Manchester as well and go up to Dry Bar, and this is much later, Hacienda, you know, and a lot of like, you know, lads or whatever, they'd find it, think they were insulting me by saying something like, you sound like Kenneth Williams. And I just, you know, 
come back with a, a line, oh, you know, do you think you're the first person that's ever said that? And they'd be quite mortified that I'd have to, you know, I'd even come back with a quip, you know, because they expect you to, um, you know, just kind of soak off and be like, oh, you know. So um, I, I think probably having an older brother kind of helped me quite a lot. And unknowing to me as well, I just did my thing. I just dressed the way I wanted to dress. You know, I remember going up to X Clothes in Manchester, walking in, seeing the shop assistant and thinking, oh, what a knob, you know. And it was actually um, the guy who works in the shop was Johnny Marr, who famously, obviously, you know, everybody knows, you know, became the um, um, guitarist with the, with the Smiths. Um, so there's there's a, a lot a lot around that. I think maybe you could get away with a little bit more in the 80s because it was a, a bit of a flamboyant time. And also I think... I think I don't think I think it was my mum that remarked, or somebody remarked, oh no, he's not gay, he's creative, you know. So that, you know, he's just expressive, you know. Um, but I have to say that it did take me a long time before I did eventually come out, you know, and it was a big thing when I did actually say it, because people can say, you can say, Oh, I live in London, I'm out now. But I think coming back to Manchester, coming back to Middleton and saying that, I you know, just, just to be heard, just to say it, you know, I wasn't um, on any um, conquest or, you know, I didn't have an axe to grind, you know, it's for my own, my own self to just, you know, you know to express how I, um, you know, identified, although I still don't like putting too much of um, a label on it. I don't like tick boxes um i don't like the whole i never liked the whole notion of of identifying in you know um for me personally um but i think it's important that that there is a space and there is a safe space for everybody and i think thinking back to rochdale there was I felt like there, there was a safe space i never felt discriminated against um the only ways I felt discriminated against was probably being called thick or stupid or stupid working class kids who don't know anything you know because there was a little there was a little bit of that you know and um um but I guess you know if you're if you're I don't know, a teacher and sometimes people say things to you and you're like oh I'll show them I'll show them I'm not the stereotype you think I am Hello and welcome back. A uh, big thank you to all our contributors uh, for the entertainment there. Lots more coming up. And a big hello to everybody watching as we've got viewers from Australia, Portugal and Ireland. So hello to you. So you are watching uh, the first ever GM Digital Pride with me, your host, Misty Chance. Now, very, very important to remember that we're here till 10 streaming on uh, Stream GM, raising money for the wonderful George House Trust Welfare Fund and the LGBT Foundation Free Condom and Lube. So if you can, please give a little donation by going to gofundme.com and search for Target 1K. 100K, we're already past the one, 100K. <laughs> Let's get that money in. So if search for Target, 100K project, and if you can't, please donate. And you can text £5 to Target 100K to 70085. Stay with us, lots more coming up. Now, we've got proper treats lined up in the next part, everybody. So we have things from Stockport Pride, Wigan Pride, Oldham Pride, Pride in Trafford, Tasha Leeper as Madonna, Black Battle, Rainbow Noir, Nature Boy, and the wonderful Minute Taker. But before that, we have a live act here in the studio at Pop in Hyde. We have the wonderful Alexander Stewart, described as timeless, a cause for celebration, razor sharp, elegant, this Manchester-born singer has performed all over the world and we're delighted to have him here on our little stage in Hyde. So please put your hands together and take it away, Alexander. The minute you walked in the joint, 
I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender. Good looking, so refined. Say, wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? Let me get right to the point. I don't pop my cork for every man I see. Hey, big spender, spend a little time with me. Wouldn't you like to have fun, fun, fun? How's about a few laughs, laughs? I can show you a good time. Let me show you a good time. The minute you walked in the joint, I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender. Good looking, so refined. Say, wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? Let me get right to the point. I don't pop my cork for every man I see. Hey, big spender. Hey, big spender. Hey, big spender. Spend a little time with me. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gents. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights thinking how you do me wrong. And I grew strong and I learned how to get along. And now you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face I should have made you change your lock You should have thrown away your key If I'd have known for just one second You'd be back to bother me Go on now, go Walk out the door Just turn around now Cause you're not welcome anymore Aren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? You think I'd crumble? You think I'd lay down and die? Oh no, not I. I will survive. Whoa, oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my love to give. I've got all my love to live. And I'll survive. And I will survive. Hey, hey. Hopefully you ladies and gents are dancing at home. It took all the strength I had not to fall apart Kept picking up those little pieces of my broken heart And then I spent so many nights feeling sorry for myself I used to cry But now I hold my head up high and you see me Somebody new I'm not that helpless little boy that's still in love with you if I'd have known for just one second You'd be back to bother me Do you think I'd crumble? Do you think I'd lay down and die? Oh no, not I I will survive Oh, as long as I know how to love I know I'll stay alive I've got all my love to give I've got all my love to live And I'll survive And I will survive Hey, hey I've got all my love to live, I've got all my love to give, and I'll survive, I will survive. Go on now, go, walk out the door, just turn around now, cause you're not welcome anymore. Aren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? You think I'd crumble? You think I'd lay down and die? Oh no, not I. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my love to give. I've got all my love to live. And I'll survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. I've got all my love to give. 
All my life to live and I'll survive I will survive Hey, hey Thank you very much Hopefully you're uh, having a great afternoon watching uh, GM Digital Pride. It's the first GM Digital Pride as well. So it's, it's a great pleasure to be here uh, sharing this uh, beautiful afternoon and day with so many brilliant acts. Uh, there's still loads more still to come. Hopefully you are going to dig deep and be really generous with the charity. I think there's a link on the bottom of the screen somewhere you can donate. So please do uh, be generous this afternoon, ladies and gents. And hopefully you're enjoying yourselves at home. We're going to carry on with a bit of, uh, bit of Barbara Streisand, shall we? Don't tell me not to live, just sit and potter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly, I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? I'll march my band out, I'll beat my drum. And if I'm fanned out, you're turning bad, sir. Hey, at least I didn't fake it, had, sir. I guess I didn't make it, but whether I'm the rose of sheer perfection, a freckle on the nose of life's complexion, the cinder or the shining apple of its eye. I gotta fly once, I gotta die once, only can try once, right, sir? Whoa, love is juicy, juicy, and you see, I gotta have my bite, sir. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comer. I've simply gotta march, my heart's a drummer. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. I'm gonna live and live now. Get what I want, I know how One roll for the whole shebang One hit, that bell will go clang I am the target and wham One shot, one gunshot and bam Hey Mr. Einstein Here I am I'll march from my Bend out I'll beat my drum And if I'm fanned out You're turning bad, sir I guess I didn't make it hat, sir At least I didn't fake it Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comer I've simply gotta march my heart to drummer Nobody, no, nobody Is gonna Rain on my parade <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm going to slow things down a little. While I catch my breath, you're wearing me out. You're wearing me out. <laughs> Should be alone tonight, yeah, baby. Tonight, yeah, baby. I got a reason that you who should take me home tonight. I need a man that thinks it's right when it's so wrong tonight, yeah, baby. Tonight, yeah, baby. Out on the limits where we know we both belong tonight. It's hard to feel that rush To brush the danger rust I'm gonna run back to To the edge with you And we can both fall more in love I'm on the edge of glory And I'm hanging on a moment with you out on the edge of glory And I'm hanging on a moment of truth I'm on the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge The edge, the edge, the edge I'm on the edge of glory And I'm hanging 
in on a moment I'm on the edge with you Yeah, 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 yeah but another shot before we kiss the other side The night, yeah, baby, the night, yeah, baby We're on the edge of something final we'll call life the night Put on your shades cause I'll be dancing in the flames The night, yeah, baby, the night, yeah, baby It isn't hell if everybody knows my name tonight It's hard to feel that much To brush the danger I'm gonna run back to To the edge with you And we can both fall more in love I'm on the edge of glory and I'm hanging on a moment with you Out on the edge of glory And I'm hanging on a moment of truth I'm on the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge The edge, the edge, the edge I'm on the edge of glory and I'm hanging on a moment I'm on the edge with you Thank you very much. Do I have time for one more? Yeah, they're putting thumbs up, so. <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying yourselves at home. Uh, we're gonna have a little celebration to end this set with a song by the late, great George Michael. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Do dig deep, do uh, head to the donation link at the bottom. And I won't let you down, I will not give you up. Gotta have some faith in the sound, it's the one good thing that I've got. And I won't let you down, so please don't give me up. Cause I would really, really love to stick around, oh yeah. Heaven knows we sure had some fun, boy. Didn't know what a buddy and me again. We had every big shot, good time, band on the run, boy. Well, I guess it was enough for me. Ran the race, got out of the place. I ran back home, got a brand new face for rock and roll TV. But today the way you play the game has got to change, oh yeah Said I gotta get my soul happy I think there's something you should know I think it's time I told you so There's someone deep inside of me There's someone I don't got to be Take back your sinking in the rain I just hope you understand Sometimes the clothes do not make the man All we have to do now Is take these lies And make them true somehow Is that I don't belong to you And you don't belong to me And he's singing at home And I won't let you down Give you up, gotta have some faith in the sound. It's the one good thing that I've got. I won't let you down, so please don't give me up. Cause I would really, really love to stick around. Heaven knows we sure had some fun, boy. Didn't know just what it means, yeah, yeah. We had every big shot, good time, band on the run, boy. We were living in a fantasy. I 
Ran the race, got out of the place I ran back home, got a brand new face For the boys at MTV But today the way you play the game has got to change, oh yeah Said I gotta get my soul happy I think there's something you should know there's someone deep inside of me Tear back your singing in the rain I just hope you understand Sometimes the pros do not make a man All we have to do now Is take these lies And make them true somehow That I don't belong to you And you don't belong to me Let me hear you sing it I won't let you down I will not give you up Gotta have some faith on the sound It's the one good thing that I got I won't let you down So please don't give me up Cause I would really, really love To stick around Hopefully you're dancing along at home as well And enjoying GM Digital Pride. Well, it looks like the road to hell, yeah, and it feels like the road to hell. Well, I know which side my bread was buttered, I took the knife as well. Posing for another picture Everyone's got to sell But when you shake your ass You notice fast The summer stakes weren't built to last That's what, That's what you get That's what you get I said that's what you get For changing your mind That's what you get And after all this time I just hope you understand Sometimes the clues do not make the man It's take these lies And make them true somehow All we have to see Is that I don't belong to you And you don't belong to me Yeah, yeah I won't let you down I will not give you up Gotta have some faith in the sound It's the one good thing that I've got I won't let you down So please don't give me up Cause I would really, really love to stick around I won't give you up I will not give you up Gotta have some faith in the sound I won't give you up I will not give you up Cause I wouldn't really, really love to stick around Thank you very much I'm Stephen Boyer and I'm the chairperson of the Stockport Pride Organising Committee. The pandemic has been a difficult time for a lot of LGBTQ plus people, with many cut off from family, friends and their usual support networks. However, a number of organisations locally have managed to move online in order to continue supporting the community. We caught up with the social group Stopport LGBT Plus and their co-chair Andy Jones in the One Stopport Hub. Andy explained what they do. It's almost like the Ron Seal thing is what it says on the tin. It's a LGBT plus group that exists to provide social support and activities for the community in Stockport. During the pandemic, we've uh, had to put a lot of services online. So we had a very interesting social evening via Zoom with a quiz. 
uh, as things have eased up, we're, we're going to resume a lot of the activities we used to do in the past. So we had a we have Plus Active, which is a walking plus social group. So we, if the weather's fine, we will walk out in the countryside. If the weather is a bit dull or rainy, we'll visit art galleries, museums, and places of interest. We've also got a, like a subgroup emerging from Plus Active, which is a, a like a dining club, entertainment club. So we'll go to the cinema or we'll go for meals. Uh, Plus in the past has been very active, uh, uh, entering floats into Manchester Pride, walking entries as well at Pride, uh, visiting Prides throughout the North West, so we're in Blackpool Pride and uh, Picnic in the Park, which is in Salford. So as full as we possibly can do. We've also put quite a lot of things online, so there's Plus Community Online and various other ways to communicate to people who can't get to the meeting. Uh, there's uh, a, a phone number, mobile phone number, which is 07562269558, or you can search uh, on the website which is stockportplus.org or search for Stockport LGBT Plus on Facebook. Another organisation that's been running regular online meetings for the LGBTQ plus community in Stockport is Forward. From there, here is Tina Carnally. Hi, I'm Tina from Forward. When the pandemic hit, we started a helpline for the local LGBTQIA plus community for social contact and validation. We have a very supportive WhatsApp group where members can chat to each other outside of helpline hours. Our virtual social evening started last summer with activities for the trans and LGBTQIA plus groups on alternating weeks. We have open mic nights, quizzes, talks on various topics, mindfulness, poetry nights, and we're hoping to start doing these in person as the restrictions are lifted. During the first wave of COVID-19, we conducted a survey to explore local demographics and lockdown experiences. Unsurprisingly, our community's mental and physical health had worsened. Incidents of hate crime had risen and people were worried about the health of their friends and family. We now work within the five ways to well-being and try to address some of those issues. We've started weekly walk and talk and litter picking sessions, as well as tennis on a Saturday morning to get folks outside, being physically active, giving, learning, connecting and being present. In February, we took the lead in organising the biggest LGBT plus History Month celebrations that Stockport and possibly even Greater Manchester has ever seen. A programme of 36 live virtual events were put together in collaboration with over 100 local organisations and individuals, including Stockport Pride, People Like Us Stockport, The Proud Trust, Stockport Libraries, Stockport NHS Foundation Trust, Health Watch Stockport, Ebony and Ivory Community Organisation, Nationwide, the University of Manchester and the LGBT Poet Laureate. Over 600 tickets were booked for Drag Queen Bingo, chemistry demonstrations, live begging, comedy and intersectional discussion panels. This Pride season, we are asking organisations and individuals not just to fly our flags and change their logos, but also to pledge their commitment to our communities. There are many ways that you can demonstrate allyship, including writing to your local MP to support the ban on conversion therapy, sign up to the All Equals Charter, to Stonewall's Diversity Champions Programme, the Human Rights Campaign's Corporate Equality Index. You could write to the Equalities Minister about the abandonment of the government's LGBT advisory panel or of the disregarding of the outcome of the consultation on the Gender Recognition Act reform. As an individual, we're safe, challenge discrimination and stand up for people. Don't laugh at that joke. Be kind. From everyone at Forward. Local schools have been demonstrating their support for LGBTQ plus people, showing acceptance, inclusion and allyship. It's been so important to help towards fostering a positive future for us all. One such leading example is Marple Hall School. When I was in the third grade, I thought that I was gay because I could draw. My uncle was and I kept my room straight. I told my mom, tears rushing down my face She's like, Ben, you've loved girls since before pre-K Tripping 
Yeah, I guess she had a point, didn't she? Bunch of stereotypes, all in my head. I remember doing the math, like, yeah, I'm good at Little League. A preconceived idea of what it all meant. But those that like the same sex have the characteristics. The right wing conservatives think it's a decision. And you can be cured with some treatment and religion. Man made rewiring of a predisposition, playing God. Oh, nah, here we go. America the brave. Still fears what we don't know. And God loves all his children. It's somehow forgotten. But we paraphrase a book written 3,500 years ago. I don't know. And I can't change. gay i would think hip-hop hates me have you read the youtube comments lately man that's gay gets dropped on the daily we become so numb to what we're saying a culture founded from oppression yeah we don't have acceptance for them. call each other faggots behind the keys of a message board a word rooted in hate yet our genre still ignores it gay is synonymous with the lesser it's the same hate that's caused wars from religion Gender to skin color, the complexion of your pigment The same fight that led people to walkouts and sit-ins It's human rights for everybody, there is no difference Live on and be yourself When I was at church, they taught me something else If you preach hate at the service, those words aren't anointed That holy water that you soak in has been poisoned When everyone else is more comfortable remaining voiceless Rather than fighting for humans that have had their rights stolen I might not be the same, but that's not important No freedom till we're equal Damn right I support it Feeling safe in your own home is very important, probably even more so during lockdown and self-isolation. Thankfully, we've seen support from social housing providers in the area such as Stockport Homes. Hi everybody, it's Martin Hanley here from Stockport Homes. I am the chair of our LGBT network, which is Proud. But Stockport Pride wanted me to make a quick video to introduce ourselves and tell you about the great work that we are doing. Now, Stockport Pride, uh, one of our charities that we support, we help them with pride events, help with training and other little bits that they need doing. Uh, we also work closely with Tina uh, from Forward. For our, probably our biggest group that we work alongside of is a group called House Proud, which is a collection of 14 house and organisations all across the North West. Um, and a little bit further sometimes, um, we get together and share best practice for our customers, our staff and our tenants. Now why pride is so important to us? Uh, not only have we made a BU policy and in our inclusive workers, um, we want our people, our staff, our customers, our tenants to live their true life and come to work and celebrate who they are. Now I am at the train station at the moment, if you hear a train go past, but that will not stop my voice from shouting to the rooftops how important pride is to stop all homes. If you do want to get in touch, we have got a Rainbow Roofs Housing Forum, which is a collection of our tenants across House Broad that meet monthly and share their voices. Give me an email. It's martin.hanley at stopwallhomes.org. Speak soon. Enjoy Pride, everybody. Bye-bye. And when we go about our everyday lives, LGBTQ plus people just want to feel as though we fit in and are welcomed. A number of local organisations have been showing that their place is a safe space for those from the LGBTQ plus community. Here's what Pure Jim Stopport North put together for Pride Month.
Thank you to all those organizations who've continued to demonstrate their support for the community. As for Stockport Pride, we're looking forward to being back bigger and better than ever in 2022 and to show that we're out and proud and not going anywhere.
You like this one? Everybody, my name's Terence, and I will be 80 years old uh, this August. Uh, I've been a member of Pride for many, 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 many years. Pride means an awful lot to me because I started out when I was 14 years old. I didn't realise I was gay because you didn't in those days. And I actually couldn't understand why it was that I liked 
men, boys. Um, I thought I was a freak of nature and I thought I was the only one. Several time, time after that, I met this lad and um, got talking to him and one thing led to another. And he said to me, oh, well, you like me then, aren't you? Uh, you're a friend of Dorothy's. And I said, what? He said, the friend of Dorothy's. I then learned what the term of Dorothy meant. It came from the Wizard of Oz and it meant that if uh, if you was gay, you were a friend of Dorothy's. That's how that came about. And then I sort of still didn't realise the word gay until I started going down to Manchester long before the gay village was there. Uh, I was only... 21 I think when I first went down and I was told about these pub, pubs where people like me met and uh, I was absolutely enthralled and I used to go down then to Manchester at weekends if I was off because I was in nursing and um, I, I enjoyed going down and meeting friends and I thought well I'm not the only one See, the problem with a lot of people in my generation that you didn't realise were gay or what it meant. Today, it's totally different because it's so open nowadays and because the terminology is so different about being gay. But in those days, it wasn't. Then we started, I found out there was groups and it was called CHE. And it was called a campaign for homosexual equality. And I found out that Manchester had a group. So I started going down to this group. And then the Manchester group started having local groups. So we set up a group in Oldham. Uh, there was Owen, uh, who was the convener. There was Simon, who was the finance. It was me, the social uh, secretary, and uh, we had about eight or nine people in Oldham. Um, and we used to meet at a pub called uh, the White Horse. It's not there anymore, of course. Um, so that I started to meet other gay people. And um, time moved on and... Uh, I, I, I met somebody and I was with them for four and a half years and, and that ended and um, then uh, I started to do some uh, work with the Samaritans. How that came about, the Samaritans got in touch with the Oldham uh, uh, CHE and said, look, we have problems with young people coming to us uh, being very suicidal about being gay. And we wondered if you would come down to one of our meetings and give us a talk about being gay. So we went down and it was suggested that one of the group every week um, held a phone line so that if somebody rang um, and said they were suicidal about being gay, they would tell us, uh, tell them to contact us at Oldham CG. That's how that came about. We did that for about four years. And then after that, um, I was, by this time, I was fighting for gay rights. I was going on marches, but I was very careful what I was doing. Because I was in a job um, with security because I was with local government. I had to be careful. Um, and then as time went on, I, I fought more and more for, for, for gay rights. I, I mean, my view has always been, and even would have been, I think, had I not been gay, everybody is entitled to live as they want to. Um, whether it be gay, straight, bi, whatever, um, but unfortunately, um, <laughs> it's not like that. 
Um, and even now, I still occasionally get, uh, oh, the queer bugger. Um, but we put up with things like that because we used to put in things that way. We, we shouldn't have to. This is the whole point. Um, I'm sorry there's not going to be really a Pride this year because I was hoping to be in Manchester Pride this year for my 80th birthday. However, that's not to be. Um, but at least um, we are doing uh, a virtual uh, Pride with many other Pride groups within Greater Manchester. Uh, which I think is great. Uh, I won't be doing that much this year about it. Um, but um, obviously I hope everything goes absolutely wonderful. Um, and it's a great success because people like me are working very, very, very hard for Pride this year, although it's going to be virtual. Um, so really that's... Um, you know, I, I wish it all the luck in the world. Um, and Let's begin. 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 Brown. Brown. Queer. 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 We are Rainbow Noir. We were founded by four black queer women on a mission to centre cutie pop in the city. For the last eight years, we've been holding spaces for queer questioning trans and intersex people of colour in Manchester to find community. Last year opened our eyes to joyous online connections. Our community and what we do has grown so much over the years. What we currently do is led by three community organisers. Hey people, I'm Chloe. Hi, I'm Hus. What's up, I'm Tolu. There are loads of ways to get involved. You can donate via our website. Offer a space to meet. Volunteer your time and share your skills. Advocate for queer, trans, intersex people of colour. Keep on celebrating and elevate our communities. Support, Support us! Black, black, brown, brown. queer, queer. here! Yeah. Oh. How was I to know that this was always only just a little game to you? All the while I thought you gave your heart, I thought that I would do the same for you. Tell the truth, I think I see it coming from a mile away When the words you say are, baby, I'm a fool who thinks it's cool I would know it isn't right to care Oh, logic doesn't seem to mind That I am fascinated by a love affair Still, my heart could benefit From a little tenderness From 
time to time But never mind Cause baby I'm a fool Who thinks it's cool to fall in Sure, it's not for vanity. Oh, look me in the eye and tell me love is never based upon insanity. Hear the way my heart is beating. Hurry up, the moment's fleeting. Kiss me now. Don't ask me how, cause Baby, I'm a fool who thinks it's cool to fall Baby, I'm a fool who thinks it's cool to fall And I would never tell if you became a fool and fell in love Some have arms and some have bits Some have slightly blurred face pics I put the parts together and I fill in the gaps With the help of my imagination and their stats
Hello and welcome back. We're at Pop in Hyde for our GM Pride event, everybody. We've taken over the little place for the afternoon and the evening. We're here with you until 10 p.m. Now, I'm just going to reiterate your donation links so that you can put some money in. We're raising money for the George House Trust Welfare Fund and the LGBT Foundation's Condom and Lube Distrib Distribution Service. And if you want to donate, you can do that by going to www gofundme.com and search for Target 100K. Alternatively, if you would like to text in a £5 donation, you can do that by texting Target 100K to 70085. Thank you for all your donations uh, and hello to everyone watching from all over the world. Now, this is my last little bit. Ah. Uh... But I will be leaving you in the capable hands of the fantastic Miss Belinda Scandal. Come oh, on. thank you, Mister. Thank you. And hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Miss Belinda Scandal, and I will be looking forward to looking after you all right up until 10 p.m. 10 p.m., everybody. And we've got some amazing stuff coming up for you as well from all over Greater Manchester. Now, over the next hour, we have got the um, brilliant Zah Olu from Wigan Pride, Queen Bayard from Stockport Pride, Matthew Bellwood from Pride in Trafford, House of Noir, and of course the Sunday Boys. So they're all coming your way. In the meantime, and in the interim though, you lucky people get to have a little number from myself. That goes just like this. Here we go. I moved on, did you see that? Oh, thanks, cheers. I am what I am. I am my own special creation. Go. Thank you. So, come take a look. Give me the hook. Oh, the ovation. It's my world that I want to have a little pride in my world and it's not a place I'll ever hide in life's not worth a damn till you can say hey world I am what I am I am what I am I don't want praise I don't want pity I bang my own drum 
Some think it's noise, I think it's pretty. And so what if I love each sparkle and each bangle? Why not try to see things from a different angle? Your life is a sham till you can say, Hey world, I am what I am. I am what I am. And what I am needs no excuses. I deal my own deck, sometimes the ace. Sometimes the juices There's one life And there's no return and no deposit One life so It's time to open up your closet Life's not worth the damn Till you can say Hey world, I am Keep it going, everybody. Ta. My name is Emily. I'm 19, and I'm a trans woman. My best friend is called Rebecca. One day, we were hanging out at her house, and we saw a story on the news. It was about a department store not letting trans people use their changing rooms. Her older brother said, it's only right, people need to feel safe, don't they? I wanted to sink into the ground. Is that what people think about me? That I make them unsafe? I just want to be able to buy clothes like everyone else. I wanted to challenge him, but I was just so embarrassed. It's hard to be confident when you feel like your identity is always under attack. But then Rebecca spoke up for me. She challenged some of the myths around trans people, gave her brother some real information, he ended up saying he was sorry. Rebecca comforted me too, and said she'd come clothes shopping with me. If I belong there, you do too, she said. And I'll always stick up for you. Having friends who stick up for you, it's the best feeling in the world. My name is Phoenix. I'm 16 and I'm questioning my gender. All throughout my life, people have made assumptions about me. When I was little, I used to wear dresses and people would assume I was a girl, which I was mostly okay with. I just didn't like that they assumed I only wanted to do girl things, whatever those are supposed to be. When I was a bit older, people thought I was gay. Why don't you just come out, they said. We all support gay people. When I said I wasn't interested in anyone, they thought I was lying. Later on, a few friends assumed I was a trans girl they told me I should just come out so I could start college as a girl. It was meant in a friendly way, but it made me feel nervous. The truth is, I don't know yet who I am. When I told my mum this, she hugged me and she said that's okay. She said that whoever I am is perfect, that it's my choice what to tell people about me and when. It made me feel a lot better to hear that. Nobody gets to decide who I am, except for me. When I know, and when I'm ready to let people know, that's when they'll know. My name is Connor. I'm 18 years old, I'm a trans man, and I'm autistic. I knew that I wanted to start hormones, but when I went to speak to my doctor about it, he said he couldn't refer me because of my autism. He said you needed to be mentally well to transition. But my autism isn't an illness I can cure. It's who I am. It's how I experience the world. I can't stop being autistic. And I can't stop being trans. How can something that's a part of me stop me from being myself? I was so depressed after talking to my doctor. I felt like there was no hope to be totally myself. But my friends checked up on me and asked me what was going on. They told me my doctor was wrong. And that there was nothing wrong with being both autistic and trans. So I found a support group for autistic trans people. Turns out you can have autistic pride just like you have trans pride. They helped me register with a new doctor. 
My new doctor is great. She understands me a lot better. I've been referred to a gender dysphoria clinic now. It's a long way, but at least I feel like I've got some hope again. My name is Mo. I'm 15 years old and I'm a trans boy. I told my parents I was a boy when I was 10 years old. They were really unhappy about it at first. I could tell. My mom even cried. I didn't understand why it made them so sad. It made me feel bad, like I'd done something wrong. They ended up talking to a parent support group and things got better at home. When I was 12, they even agreed to talk to our doctor about it. He didn't know much, but he referred me to a specialist clinic. And I've been waiting to see them for three years. Three years. That's a whole fifth of my life. If I had a broken arm, would I have to wait three years to get an x-ray? This feels just as urgent and painful as a broken arm to me. I hear people talk about how kids shouldn't rush into anything, but I'm not rushing. I'm crawling like a turtle, and every day it feels harder to crawl. Thankfully, I've got a group to help me too, a group of kids like me, run by a great youth worker who's also trans and who understands us. Without them, I'm not sure what I'd do. They're my lifeline while I do my turtle crawl. My name is Aspen. I'm 14 years old and I'm non-binary. Going to PE class used to be a nightmare. Girls on this side of the room, the teacher would yell, and boys on the other. I stand in the middle, just totally lost. Sometimes I'd run to one side, sometimes to the other. Either way, I'd feel like I'd get into trouble and like everyone's eyes were on me. I hated feeling I was being stared at and like I was doing something wrong just for being me. Then, my PE teacher went to training. I guess teachers need to learn things too sometimes. Suddenly PE was a lot nicer. Okay folks, the teacher would call out. And we didn't get divided into boys and girls anymore. We just did sports and games together. I didn't feel like all eyes were on me anymore. And for the first time in my life, I actually enjoyed playing sports. Turns out, I'm actually pretty good at it, too. My name is Maya. I'm 17 and I am a trans girl. I changed my name by Deed Paul when I was 16 years old. I was so proud and happy that day. When I took it to my school, though, they said they would change my name, but they couldn't change my gender in their system. We can't change your gender marker until you get a gender recognition certificate. That's just the rules. I was super confused. You can't get a gender recognition certificate until you're 18. And even then, you need to prove you've been living in your gender for two years. How am I supposed to prove I've been living as my gender if they don't let me change my gender at school? It didn't make sense to me. I told my farm tutor about all this and she said, leave it with me. She did some research and talked to the administration. Turns out they can't change my gender in school system. They just assumed that they couldn't. Thanks to my form tutor's help, I'm now properly named Maya at school. It's great. I feel like I can just live my life now. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. There ain't enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. I've done all right up to now. It's the light of day that shows me how. When the night falls, my only heart calls. Come on. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody I wanna feel the heat with 
with somebody Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody With somebody who loves me I've been in love and lost in my senses Spinning through the town Sooner or later the fever ends And I wind up feeling down I need a girl who takes a chance A love that burns hard enough to last So when the night falls My only heart crawls Oh, I wanna dance with somebody I wanna feel the heat with somebody Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody With somebody who loves me Oh, I wanna dance with somebody I wanna feel the heat with somebody Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody with somebody who loves me, somebody, ooh, somebody, ooh, somebody who loves me, somebody, ooh, somebody, ooh, who holds me in the wrong. So I need a girl who takes a chance on a love that burns hard enough to last. So when the night falls. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me Thank you very much. Hello, darling. You're in my bedroom. And I'm not even ready. That's all right. My name is Queen Baird and I shall be singing a few songs for you. It is a delight for you to be in my bedroom with me. Of course, I'd rather be in real life with you, so, um, book me, okay, okay. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous to be celebrating Pride and this month and every single month. I mean, come on, let's be honest. Um, but I thought I'd play a few songs for you. This one is called Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. I do know my set list. It's fine. Sitting in the morning sun. If you know the words, sing along with me. I'll be sitting when the evening comes Watching the ships roll in And I'll watch them roll away again I'm just sitting on the stock of the bay Watching the tide roll away I'm just sitting on the stock of the bay Wasting time I left my home in Georgia Headed for the Frisco Bay Cause I had nothing to live for And looks like nothing's gonna come my way So I'm just gonna sit on the stock of the bay Watching the tide roll away Ooh, I'm sitting on the stock of the bay Wasting time It looks like nothing's gonna change Everything still remains the same I can't do what ten people tell me to do So I guess I'll just remain the same Sitting here resting my bones Stop. 
o'clock of the day Watching the tide roll away Ooh, sitting on the stock of the bay Wasting time morning sun I'll be sitting when the evening comes watching the ships roll in and I'll watch them roll away again I'm just sitting on the stock of the bay watching the tide roll away Dark of the bay, wasting time. So I hope you enjoyed that lovely classic. Um, and I hope that you are having an amazing day, wherever you are, whatever day this is that this video is finding you. Um, like I said, my name is Queen Baird, and I am a proud resident of Manchester, uh, even though I'm originally from planet Stardust, or something like that. Um, this next song I'm going to play for you is called I Want to Know You, and it's actually written by me, Queen Baird, and I released it in, at the end of January, and it's on iTunes, Spotify, and all those things, and there's a music video of it on YouTube that I actually filmed with some friends in Manchester, including Canal Street. It's really fun, had an amazing time. Um, and it's a song all about connection and just wanting to you know, get past all those things that separate us and get to know someone. <sighs> Something like that. I just have to breathe. Give me a second. Whew. Okay. So it's called I Want to Know You. I hope you, hope, hold on. hope that you enjoy it. See, this is live. This is like a live experience that you're getting. So this is called I Want to Know You and I hope that you dig. <laughs> Stumbling, drunken, lost and cold Choking on the crops that we've sown Flavor's getting old So let's set this poison state to blaze And from this blackened earth grow a new fate One that's wide awake Take a look at yourself in the mirror and pose. Pose, darling. 
Why? Because you look fabulous, you're a gorgeous being. Um, if you go check it out, you'll notice that it's got loads of 80s, 80s synths and really fun retro vibes. And it's really, really a fun time. I did it with a producer based in Manchester. His name is Matthew Garcia. He's a total legend um, and awesome. And yeah, so this next song I'm going to play for you is another original and I'll be releasing it sometime this summer. And it's called Simply Made and I hope that you enjoy it. Another one about love and about you know, the good things. Simply made, simply made, simply made for loving you. By the way, if I get through this without making a mistake, that's, that's a miracle. Simply made, simply made, that is all that I know how to do. You are the ones that I'm simply made to love. A simple composition made to do simple functions. Function to love, action to give. Giving my heart meaning and my lungs a reason for breathing. Showing you my humanity and all my imperfections and to neither seek out nor require reciprocation. For that is not the agreement, for no agreement has been made. For I believe agreements such as these will stop us all from slaying the game. Whoa, how oh, simply made for loving you. Whoa. That is all that I know how to do Because simply made Simply made Simply made for loving you Sing it Simply made Simply made That is all that I know how to do Simplify, thinking it all could be fine If we stress less on taking, a little more on engaging Soaking the truth that our future is fading The planet is aching from choices we keep making Society's obsessed with aesthetics overtaking Unless authenticity happens to have a picture-perfect casing Is it worth its weight in gold? Can it be branded, bought, and sold? Why did we accept this total mess in the tired ways of old? Whoa, oh, simply made for loving That is all that I know how to do Because simply made Simply made Simply made for loving you Hey, hey Simply made Simply made That is all that I know how to do Middle section Simply made Active, aided by the present laughter, not a cinematic capture of tomorrow's happily ever after. It's in the moment first, we are currently worst in a collective perspective, a mystic resurgence. Nothing to harbor, own, hoard, or collect for. Everything that is kept will become hollow trinkets left to rest, so let go. To flow, switch on, burn strong, live free, simply made for loving. Whoa, oh, simply made for loving. Simply made, 
simply made, simply made for loving you. Sing it with me, hey. Simply made, simply made. That is all that I know how to do. I've got the sun reflecting off someone's window into my eye. I hope you know what I'm going through to give you this video. Simply made, simply made, simply made for loving you. That's right. Hey. Simply made, simply made, that is all that I know how to do. Thank you, darlings. It has been an absolute pleasure. My name is Queen Baird. You know where to find me, unless I didn't say, which you can find me on the Insta, at Queen Baird. The TikTok with the, with the kids, I feel like an old, old hag when I'm there, but they seem to like me, so that's great. Um, and you can find me on YouTube or in real life, which would be even better because then we can actually hang and chat and kiki over life and just live our best our best situation. But that is it for now, and I hope to see you again very, very soon. My name is Queen Baird. I love you. Mwah. Coming out for conversation, after months of hibernation, out in search of inspiration, out in Trafford, proud at pride. Filled with mild trepidation, caused by worldwide covidation, now's the time for celebration, time at last to get outside. Storytelling, cabaret, an outdoor dance show on the way, a tiny model pride parade, all going on at Waterside. Stand-up drag queens, mirror balls, collective art upon the wall. A disco game show free-for-all, an end to Covid's great divide. Lockdowns do not last forever, rainbows thrive in rainy weather. The arts bring diverse folk together, distanced but still unified. first woke up, never gave himself a chance, never believed in his convictions, never looked at his reflections, he never said hello, he never said hello, then one day he decided to let today be unpredictable, mythical, unbelievable, unconditional, then one day he decided to let the day be the one he dreams about, the one he writes about, 
He let the night be the ones you scream out loud about. The ones that shot like thunderclouds. Then he shook it up, took it up, broke it up, stretched it up, shook it up, took it up, broke it up, stretched it up. Today's the day the whole world's been waiting for him, and he hasn't lived his life in years. There's a truth that's waiting to be found. Like his feet touching the ground Let he made today be beautiful, meaningful, wonderful, sensational Then he shook it up, took it up, broke it up, stretched it up Then he shook it up, took it up up, stretched it up. She remembers when she hated her life because it was so monotonous. She wondered why she let it all happen and that she could change it all. She could change it all. He could change it. She can do something fantastic. Do something bombastic. Fantastic. Enthusiastic. Sunday Boys is a low-voiced LGBTQ plus choir. Open access, anyone can join. Uh, we are very ambitious. We do a lot of new work. That comes from partially the fact that I'm a composer and when we started in 2016, there was opportunity for me to write. And a lot of the choir really enjoyed that experience of capturing their lived experiences as LGBTQ people, as queer people, in new music. It gives people, our performers, our choir members, an opportunity to 
use music as a tool, new music, new work as a tool for conversation, exploring themselves, exploring their identity, and sharing that with audiences, not just queer audiences, but audiences, non-queer audiences, who may also identify with queer themes and queer experiences, because, you know, just because you're queer or LGBTQ doesn't mean a non-LGBTQ person can't understand that. And using music as that tool for audiences, for artists and our members, especially new work where we can have that conversation is so important to what we do. So the choir in the lockdown and, uh, and I think it's been key on so many levels. I was like the first thing is that like I've I really needed a place uh, where I could have like a sense of belonging so and because I had just come out so like having the chance to be uh, well singing even though like remotely with other uh, gay guys has been like priceless to me and also like the opportunity of actually like doing music uh, throughout like this whole year it's been a impressive like how much effort like it's been put from, like from the organizing team into just keeping the ball rolling and um, having the chance to be a part of something uh, bigger right and in this case like a choir and doing music which is something I love and prior to the Sunday Boys it's not something that I have been doing here in the UK so I don't know like it, it, it gave like a total uh, totally different meaning to like uh, lockdown and looking forward to Sundays so we could have we could rehearse and get to see each other's faces so yeah it's been like really really important to me yeah it's it's been difficult to connect with people um, during this time uh, yeah especially um, queer people usually I'd, I don't go out all the time but it's really nice one of the reasons I moved to Manchester a few years ago was to have things like the the village here um, to have some of the nightlife the bars um, just going for a drink with some friends um, down by the canal is lovely and having that. Um, so not having that has been really weird, um, really, really weird. Uh, but having the choir as like a, a queer space with a good bunch of people that all have really similar interests, whether that is musical or just in, in life and have had different experiences has really um, helped kind of, yeah, helped me feel less alone than lockdown has made me feel at other times. Um, Definitely, I think with pieces like uh, Finn's piece, having such a strong emotional tie to that, I don't know whether it has been lockdown making me feel more emotional <laughs> lately, um, or whether it's just how good that piece is, but things like that have really given, yeah, a different light to some of the relationships I've had with people, um, whether that's, you know, self-reflectance in this piece in particular, um, or just in how, how much the Sunday Boys actually meant to me. Um, I kind of took that for granted before lockdown, and now that we've, we're starting to come back to that, it's been really, really wonderful. The, the kind of my relationship with the Sunday Boys began through an approach from Michael, who's the artistic director, and who'd heard some of my music and, and in connection to the Lowry, which I was, I was their resident composer for the year that didn't happen, 2020. Um, and yeah, we, we got talking about the potential of, of creating something bespoke for, for this group and for this choir. So that's how that came about initially. Uh, and then the piece kind of evolved um, through conversations with Michael and conversations with the choir and, and also my own personal reflections on kind of what it was I was interested in writing about. And um, yeah, that was, that was the starting point. One of the big things we do in the Sunday Boys when we commission new work is we work with, we try to work with as many different genres and um, kind of different music as possible. We, we pride ourselves in how eclectic we are, um, but what we really look for is music and composers and songwriters and artists who tell a story, tell queer stories fantastically with their music, their melodies, their, 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 the harmony, the, the accompaniment, accompaniment, but also through lyrics and meaningful lyrics. Um, and Finn's work, uh, just when I first heard it, kind of really, what it really captured for me is normalizing same-sex relationships uh, in this way that a lot of our repertoire can be very heavy, especially with musical theater or singer-songwriter kind of material. And Finn's music spoke to me in a way where I, was, where I just thought, the choir are gonna love this. 
the piece turned out to be something that was actually not explicitly about same-sex relationships because as a choir, as we're changing, as we're growing, we're welcoming people from uh, across the LGBTQ community as well. But there is that real sense of queerness in the work as well that speaks to so many of our members. Also, Finn writes such phenomenal melodies and I immediately knew creating a piece during lockdown and creating a piece that was very singable and very immediate on the voice was something that was so important because we started rehearsing this on Zoom. It had to be something that every single part could jump into and feel they had a melody and I mean he's nailed that. I think like it's very hard to pick like a favorite moment. I think like the whole piece is so beautiful and it's so deep. When we were discussing like the, the meaning with like um, Michelle the other day and um, this whole idea of like uh, an older self talking to a, a younger self, it sort of like um, uh, resonated within me because of my personal s story. So I think like, and I think I'm pretty sure like everyone in the choir can resonate with that, but within their own life stories. In my case, because I came out so late in my life, like so I came out at 39, so it's sort of like, looking back and just going, yeah, you, it's okay to be who you are and who we've been all, all this time. And at the same time with a sense of pride. So, cause again, uh, I think like each one of us uh, has its their own, like I'd say time and place for coming out. And for me, like it might have been a bit late, but I'm quite proud of my story, my life story. I mean, having been like in a, in a straight relationship for like for 14 years, having an eight year old son. And again, and now at 40, uh, 41, like looking back, being able to look back through this song as well, like, and going like, okay, we've done it, we've done it. So yeah, it's been like really, really important to me. It's always really interesting when you've written something kind of in your own voice and, and for your own voice and then you hear it interpreted by other people for the first time. For me, it's, this is really nice because it's, because it's a low voice choir and, and a lot of people that kind of sit similar to my voice, it's, um, you know, often I'll, I'll get into the room with, with other musicians or other singers and there will be talks about maybe changing key or potentially kind of what suits the singer and depending on who we're working with. And, there's something really nice about about being able to really write in my voice, which has been the case for this. So, um, yeah, that's in terms of coming in today and, and hearing it for the first time. I think that that just sort of hit me that there's going to be you know 45 singers and um, bringing their own their own thing to it, and it takes away the monotony of just my singular voice. Um, I think the, the thing that struck me most today was that every single member of the choir will have their own relationship to the song and that they will all interpret the song and the story in different ways depending on their life experience and you know having spoke to a few of them briefly and hearing what the song means for them in various different ways that's been a really beautiful thing to come from today um, and yeah it's sounding really beautiful I'm really excited about it. It's like any song, isn't it? I remember speaking to my kids about when Sophie used to say, Dad, have you heard this song? And I said, yes, Sophie, have you listened to the lyrics and the melody and the, have you listened to the story that's in there? And it's the same with this. It's got a wonderful and a lovely melody um, to the point I'm singing it in my sleep at the minute. Um, but it was really nice to listen to Michelle the other night when she helped us to interpret the songs and the, to see how the lyrics and the story there resonated with everybody to the point that quite a few people got upset because uh, it brought back those conversations you know when you're not out of the closet and you're having you wanting to see what your future self looks like but also knowing that you're not alone and what are you looking for what are you searching for and finally knowing when you you're out there and you've got it now so it did resonate with me quite a quite a lot and with quite a lot of other people as well because there was a few people saying they needed to bring tissues to the to the choir so yeah it, it's quite a poignant uh, song which a lot of people can identify with over the last year we've when we've been able to, and when it's been safe and legal to do so, we've been rehearsing in this car park on First Street. 
and that has been such a joy to come together in the space and even though it's sometimes messy and inaccurate um, that doesn't matter it's making sound with other people that's so important to me and so important to so many of our members regardless of what the outcome is it's making that sound together that's why we sing in choirs um, tonight and this week we've been rehearsing has been just so amazing just to see especially even new new members that just faces light up after weeks on Zoom, kind of going, oh yeah, look, I'm part of something. And you can't take it, you know, you just can't beat that. Moving forward, we have all these rehearsals this week, and then we're doing an audio recording in very small groups, because again, we have to make sure we are safe and secure as possible, but also making sure that people are supported and singing in those groups and singing to a high quality as well. And then in a couple of weeks time, we're at the Lowry doing a video recording of this which is going to be something super, super special. Yeah, the car park's definitely a challenge at times, but there's something about the space and, and maybe it's like the reverb, the echo of the metal walls around us, but it actually adds something to the piece at times and, and really gives it a different feel. Um, again, compared to like the learning tracks we've been practicing with or um, you know, Zoom singing in your bedroom, it doesn't compare to, to here with a, a really natural sound. Um, so it's, it's actually been, in some ways, a really interesting way to experience the piece even before we're hearing it. You know, this is when we get to get a snippet for what the piece is going to sound like and I can't wait to hear it properly mastered and, and recorded. I've been a firefighter for 19 years working here at Mossai Fire Station. Uh, the thing that I like most about working for Great Manchester Fire and Rescue Service is 
the sense of pride that I get from working within the community and I also get a real sense of value. Well, there's many things really. It's just the nature of the job itself, uh, the watch culture, that's your banter, it's so special, unique. You don't get that kind of atmosphere in any other profession. Uh, a lot of time spent on station and the camaraderie, the bonding, the friendships you form with your crew. It's not just a working relationship, it's a bit more, you can't like a second family. What makes me proud to be a firefighter? I love the diversity of the job, how we meet different people, different members of the community. We interact with vulnerable people, school children, people who are probably having the worst day of their lives and we're there to help them. Um, and I just love the, the fact that we help people. For me, get into the community and speak to some of the youngsters. Um, you know, I've, I've over the years where we've spoken to kids at schools and we've spoken to them about all sorts of different topics and maybe years later when I'm out doing my shopping or out visiting my friends, they'll come up to me and they'll say, oh, you're that firefighter who came to my school and told us about what to do if I've only got one smoke alarm or what do I do if my number nine doesn't work on my phone. So knowing that they've listened to what I've said makes me proud to be a Manchester firefighter. Ring 112. <laughs> See? Well, we are more than halfway pride through today's wonderful GM Digital Prive here from Stream GM, and we have got loads of performances still to come your way, and we've had loads of great performances already as well. Now, we are, of course, here with you till 10 p.m. here on Stream GM, raising money for the wonderful George House Trust Welfare Fund and, of course, the LGBT Foundation Free Condom Lube Distribution Service. Now, if you can, and I think we should do it at this point, let's all go to www.gofundme.com and search for Target 100K, or you can go straight to 70085 and uh, donate just five pounds by texting target 100k. Now then, at the halfway point, I think it's time to say a big thank you to everyone who's made today happen, especially Carl Austin Behan, Andy Burnham, Barry Priest, everyone at Stream GM, Bolton Pride, Berry Pride, Disbury Pride, Levenhumes Pride, Manchester <laughs> Gay Village, Oldham Pride, Pride in Trafford, Tameside Pride, Rochdale in Rainbows, keep that applause going, Salford Pride, Stockport Pride, and Wigan Pride. The wonderful Talk Talk and of course Brumwood and everyone who has come together to provide content for this brilliant event. Now then, over the next hour we've got a perfect world from Pride in Trafford, the Sunday Boys, a little bit of Paula Randell as share at Wigan Pride, Susie Sequin from Bolton Pride, Trudy Housen from Bolton Pride and Tito Bone and Ebony Rose Dark from Trans Vegas. But before all that, we have got an absolute treat for you in the form of this next lady. Now, many of you will recognize her from the wonderful, wonderful Manchester's Gay Village, everybody. And she's here right now for you now. So please put your hands together for the one and only Miss Black Ivory. <laughs>
As we sit here and talk, yeah. everybody watching this yeah. is going to be staring at you physically. Yeah. And they're going to be saying, how thin is she now? Yeah. How, how many bones can we see? Okay. I've always been a thin girl. I'm not going to be fat ever. Let's get that straight. Whitney is not going to be fat ever. Okay. Whitney dying. Crack rehab fails. Crack is cheap. I make too much money to ever smoke crack. Let's get that straight. Okay. We don't do crack. We don't do that. Crack is whack. Is whack. Is whack. Is whack. You are making a fool of me. I've never seen so many people in one of my gigs before. There's like 10 of us and everything. Uh, so good evening, guys. My name is Black Ivory. I just want to say, make sure you donate and all that jazz. Right, so the next song I'm going to do, I hope you guys like a little bit of dream girls. You have to use your imagination for this one. Because obviously, I'm like Celine Dion all by myself here. And there's three of them. So use your imagination. This little song, Maestro, please. Press play.
think I've ever done that where I forgot to take the last costume off. Honestly. Right, ladies and gentlemen, have we got any Annie fans in? Three people, this is going to go down well. Uh, so once again, you have to use your imagination for this one. Uh, as you know, Annie is a 13-year-old ginger girl, and I'm a 39-year-old man who's also Asian. So use your imagination for this one. This little song, Maestro, hopefully I get the costume right this time. It goes a little something like this. A Perfect World, a found poem for pride in Trafford, made from conversations that took place at Waterside Arts on the 21st and 22nd of June, 2021. I am a queer, radiant ray of sunshine. I am a disco dancing, Oscar Wilde reading, Streisand ticket holding, friend of Dorothy. I'm a 1970s dancing queen bee. I'm a happy, smiley, fun-loving ally to all. I am an animal-saving theatre lover, living my best life. It's about supporting people and saying people can love who they want. Love always wins. Love is what unites us. Big, big hugs for everyone. All you need is love. Radical is not saying how terrible the world is. It's lovely to see the banners back outside the town hall. Food can always bring people together. Never forget, you can and you will. I'm looking for an open mic night. I'm so excited, an actual real life audience. It's just so nice to be able to laugh with other people again. First night out in ages and it's the same night as Eurovision. 
I'm still a bit nervous about being out. I think it'll take a few months. I wish I had a dragon. I wish I was more flexible. Finding freedom through the arts. Grow up, bride. just want to live your life the best way you know how. But they keep on telling you that you are not allowed. They say you are sick, that you should hang your head in shame. They are pointing
This is really cool, this one. I love it. My 
my world was shattered, I was torn apart Like someone took a knife and drove it deep in my heart You walked out that door, I swore that I didn't care But I lost everything, darling, then and there Too strong to tell you I was sorry Too proud to tell you I was wrong I know that I was blind And darling, if I could turn back time if I could find a way I'd take back all the words that have hurt you And you'd stay If I could reach the start I'd give them all to you Then you'd love me, love me Like you used to do Oh If I could turn back time if I could turn back time If I could turn back time Oh, baby Woo! I didn't really mean to hurt you I didn't want to see you go I know I made you cry And darling, if I could turn back time if I could find a way I'd take back those the words that have hurt you If I could reach the stars I'd give them all to you Then you'd love me, love me Like you used to do If I could turn back time If I could find a way then baby, 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 you'd stay If I could reach the stars I'd give them all to you Thank you, thank you so much Thank you everybody, thank you
everyone happy pride i'm so pleased to be here um of course it's all online but i'm i'm with you in my heart i hope you can feel me i'm thrilled to be part of of manchester pride because actually i am a northerner i come from accrington near burnley so it's such a thrill for me to be here so i'm going to read some poems that i've written about pride and about us i've written lots and lots of poems for uk pride so you're going to hear a selection of the work that i do uh, this first one is an old very old poem that i wrote for london pride and the theme for that month uh, for the pride uh, parade was heroes so here's my poem I'm Batman, I'm Wonder Woman, I'm a superhero called gay. I'm trans, bi, homosexual, and I'm a hero every day. I'm Harvey Milk, I'm Audrey Lord. I'm not afraid of a fight. I'm standing up for equality and justice because I know what's wrong and what's right. I am labeled with love and loathing. Sometimes I feel afraid. Then I take solace from my fabulous friends on the gender bender cavalcade. Sappho, Derek Jarman, Manvendra Singh Gohill. There's a hero within us all. We can make a difference every day. Be proud, sing out, stand tall. Thank you. Uh, here's another pride poem. I wrote this one for San Francisco Pride. And actually, Craig Heath, Heathcote, uh, who's from Leeds, made a fabulous film uh, that's now on YouTube uh, based on the poem. It's called We Are Means Happy. We are the voice of love that dares to speak its name. We will not, shall not be silenced. We are a wave of love that ripples around the world where every creed, color, and religion. We are a beacon of love, dazzling in our style and diversity. We're trendsetters, go-getters, creatives. We are the whole spectrum of love, shape-shifters, gender-benders, fluid. We're dreamers, magicians, groundbreakers. We are a celebration of love, people who hang on to hope. We're LGBTQI, the real deal. Thank you. Um, as LGBT Poet Laureate, I don't just write poems that celebrate our community. I write poems to work with big organizations like Amnesty International, Peter Tatchell Foundation, Stonewall, the National Health Service and Pride in Education, and also local councils and big and small, some very small grassroots organizations, people who are trying to actually change the quality of life for our community. So uh, you can check out my work on my website, uh, but here's a poem I wrote, wrote for National Hate Crime Awareness Week. Now's the time across our nation to stand united in this call. There is no place for hatred, because hatred hurts us all. 
Whatever your sexuality or religion, ability, gender, color of skin, this battle against hate crime is one we have to win. Let's educate the ignorant, dispel prejudice and fear, promote that love is a human right, be open and be clear. We can make a difference by what we do and say against the intolerance and injustice gay people suffer every day. It's okay to be different. Let's honor who we are. Make our world a safer place for all of us near and far. Thank you. Uh, and actually I'm going to finish now with my most recent poem I wrote for London Pride. Uh, the theme for that particular um, Pride was Love Happens Here. I mean, what a great title for a, a poet. In fact, it's a great title for us all because you know what, we're good. In our hearts, we're not just beautiful, we're full of love. Let's just forget all this little snickering and nasty stuff. Let's concentrate on the real thing, which is just having fun and loving each other. Love happens here. Love happens here in family LGBT, in our relationships far and near. It's the heart of us and we. Love can be enough in sunshine or in showers. When the going gets tough, it's love that empowers. Love is our diversity. It's the best that we can be. It's the talent and creativity within our community. Love is you and me. We show it in a smile, in our endeavor and tenacity, in our fabulosa style. I love you everyone and hope to see you soon. Thank you, bye. I've posed for pictures with ivory soap. I've petted stray dogs and shied clear of dope. My smile is brilliant. My glance is tender. But I'm noted most for my <coughs> very queer gender. I've been named Mix Perseverance year after year. I'm the one whom people say, you're sweet, my dear. The only etchings I've seen have been behind glass. And the only bar I've been to was at ballet class. <laughs> Prim and proper, the king who's never been kissed. Well, I'm tired of being pure and not chaste. Like something that seeks its level. I wanna go to the devil. I wanna be evil. I wanna spit tax. I wanna be evil and cheat at jacks. I wanna be wicked. I wanna tell lies, I wanna be mean and throw mud pies. I wanna wake up in the morning with that sharp brown taste. I wanna see some dissipation in my face. I wanna be evil, I wanna be mad, but more than that,
wanna be horrid. I wanna drink booze and whatever I've got, I'm eager to lose. Hi, my name's Rob Cookson. I'm Deputy Chief Executive of the LGBT Foundation. And it's a real pleasure to be asked to say a few words today at the very first Greater Manchester Digital Pride event. Um, so I'm really proud on, on behalf of LGBT Foundation to get the opportunity to say how amazing the Greater Manchester D Digital Pride event is. And to start really by saying a massive thank you to every single one of you that have been involved in the event, uh, whether that's planning behind the scenes, whether that's one of the artists that's, you know, delivering some of the activities today, you know, whatever role you've played in this, massive thank you for helping getting this off the ground. And thank you for all the leadership around this to make sure that all of the 10 boroughs are involved. Um, and it would be wrong of me not to give a bit of a shout out to Carl as well, in terms of his leadership and helping to pull this together and make this happen. So thank you for each and every one of you for that. I also wanted to say just a few words about the LGBT Foundation and pick out just some of the services that we do um, and speak really in the context of COVID. And one of the things that we've seen over the last 18 months of COVID is the massive challenges that it's faced to all of us, but particularly LGBTQ plus communities. Our helpline, for example, has seen a huge surge in a number of phone calls that we've had, people ringing us because they're feeling isolated, lonely and really needing support, in desperate need of support um, and we want to make sure that we continue to be there for a, a listening ear. One of the other services that have seen a massive increase is our counselling provision. So we provide, provide tailored one-to-one -one structured support for people. Often people are accessing that because um, they're perhaps struggling to, to come out, um, you know, they're needing support around issues like anxiety, around depression um, and that counselling support really does save lives and it's about working with people to help improve their mental health and well-being. The final service that I wanted to put under the spotlight was our community safety initiative and anyone who's been out in the village on a Friday and Saturday night would have seen the amazing angels, the staff and volunteers that provide the service. Um, and they really do help to keep our communities safe on the streets. If you're passionate about the work that we do and if you want to support us, you can go to the GoFundMe um, campaign that was set up by the Village Business Association in partnership with LGBT Foundation to help fund our free condom and lube scheme and also to help our brilliant partner organisation at George House Trust to help fund their welfare fund to support people living with HIV. Just remains me to say, I hope you have a fantastic uh, Greater Manchester Digital Pride and uh, enjoy. Take care. Bye.
Well, I hope you're all having a fantastic day, everybody. We're with you here now till 10 p.m. 10 p.m., everybody, here on Stream GM, raising money for the wonderful George House Trust Welfare Fund and, of course, the LGBT Foundation Free Condom and Lube Distribution Service. Now, once again, if you can, please make a donation by going to www.gofundme.com and searching for the Target 100K project. Or if you want to make a donation uh, via text, all you need to do is go to Target 100K at 700. 8, 5. Now, over the next hour, we've got Eleganza at Bolton Pride, Nature Boy, Vivian Lindsay performing at the Met in Berry for Berry Pride. But first up, though, a massive round of applause, please, for the very gorgeous Mars Smith. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in today. I'm going to be playing some songs for you. Some of them are written by me and my bands, and we'll just get straight into it. Um, this first song is about body positivity and loving who you are and the fact that your body is your first home and that you should love it no matter what. <laughs> is a song I perform with my band. We're called Floor Four and we're a three-piece non-binary band. All of our music is to do with our identity and like our place in society. And this song is about when you figure out that you're not quite cisgender and the like worry, but also the like expression in that. <laughs> complicated for everyone We're trying to escape it but all the time people push us into the places we don't want to be Maybe somewhere you know you don't belong can't figure out where you're supposed to be so just go along with it all in place it'll fall I'm tired of being someone I don't want to be I'm tired of living inside someone's make-believe I'm sick and tired of being told it's he or she I'm trying to figure my life 
life out in this mess of a world where I don't feel right as a boy or a girl and I'm falling, exploring everything I thought I knew when mama gives you a pretty dress at age two and everyone expects that of you but I'm something else, don't even know myself and I don't know what to made up I know exactly who I am no regrets I'm just a person after all some days are hard sometimes I feel so weak but there's no point Tired of being told as we will see. Trying to figure my life out in this mess of the world where I don't feel right as a boy or a girl, and I'm falling, exploring everything I thought I knew. And mama gives you a pretty dress, I too and everyone expects that of you. I'm something else. Know myself, and I don't know what to do. 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 I'm trying to figure my life out in this mess of the world where I don't feel right as a boy or a girl, and I'm falling. Explore. Thank you. Now this last song's a bit more happy and upbeat. It's a song I wrote about, um, you know, wanting the pandemic to finish and all the things that we want to do after. And luckily, you know, we have been able to do most of these things. So this is All Right by my band Getaways. <laughs> grass my dear and the way you took your hair behind your ear you skip the winter straight to summer i'm done with this year this year it's what's so lovely when you want it to be but let's rent a car and drive to the sea cause there's nothing better than sand in your cider can i took you under the sunlight and then we danced in the moonlight And you said that it's gonna be alright I'm thinking of summer this whole time And how we'll dance in the starlight Cause you said that it's gonna be alright You've been wishing for this moment all year Sat inside all alone, maybe drinking a bit And at night books and flights get away from here Think of when you can stay out late Get up the courage to ask that girl on a date Who knows, maybe you can make it to third place I took you under the sunlight And then we danced 
sound too excited. Do you want another number? Yeah. There we go then.
to disagree Travel the world and the seven seas Everybody's looking for something Some of them want to use you Some of them want to get used by you Some of them want to abuse you Some of them want to be abused Ooh, I'm gonna fight them off A seven nation army couldn't hold me back They're gonna rip it off Taking their time right behind my back to myself at night because I can't forget back and forth through my mind behind a cigarette and the message coming from my eyes says hold your head up moving on keep your head up moving on hold your head up Moving on, keep your head up, moving on, hold your head up, moving on, keep your head up, moving on, hold your head up, moving on, keep your head up. in the well Don't ask me I'll never tell I looked to you as it fell And now you're in my way Traded my soul for a wish Pennies and dimes for a kiss That's for you <clears throat> I wasn't looking for this but now you're in my way Your stare was holding Ripped jeans, skin was showing Hot night, wind was blowing Where'd you think you're going, baby? Hey, well, I've just met you And this is crazy But here's my number So call me, baby It's hard to look right At you, baby But here's my number So call me, baby Surprisingly large amount of noise then, there are all seven of you. I 
took my time with a call You took your time with a fall You gave me nothing at all And still you're in my way I beg, I borrow, I steal I have more sight and it's real Didn't know I would feel it Still it's in my way Your stare was holding Ripped jeans, skin was showing Hot night wind was blowing Where'd you think you're going, baby? Hey, well I've just met you And this is crazy But here's my number So call me maybe And all the other boys They try to chase me But here's my number So call me maybe Piano set How are we all doing then? Are we all good? Fantastic, fantastic So I'm going to be relying on you a little bit To give me some feedback Because a drag queen's job it's literally null and void unless there is some kind of audience there. The last 18 months doing Facebook Lives is talking about it. Before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. Missed you so bad. I missed you so, so bad. Before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. And you should know that. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number, so call me maybe It's hard to look right at your baby But here's my number, so call me maybe Hey, well I just met you, and this is crazy But here's my number, so call me maybe And all the other boys, <laughs> they try to chase me But here's my number, so call me Thank you. Thank you, Wembley. It's an honour and a privilege. No, not quite Wembley just yet. OK, we're getting closer, though. Well, hello, hello. My name's Miss Vivian Lindsay, and I am here representing Borough Pride today uh, for this fantastic event. So thank you so much, Borough Pride, for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, I missed being Bury Host's Pride. Um, no, Bury Pride's host this year. She's had half a glass of wine and she can't speak already, literally. Uh, it, it's been um, strange, hasn't it? But um, there's, I don't know, hope on the horizon. So it's, it's nice. I mean, you're all in here. Um, all seven of you, as I've said. And you're all having a, a great time, I'm sure. Um, but enjoy the next um, hour. Um, not of just of me, don't worry. Um, and if you do know the songs, then, then sing along, because... Why not, you know? Let's have some fun on this wonderful afternoon. It's so hot, the weather today. I was in the taxi, sorry, segue. I was in the taxi on the way here, and the sun, uh, oh, it's, it's September. How stupid is that? It's, it's September, and it's literally August weather outside. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. Global warming, everybody. Um, uh, so this next song um, was made famous by Lady Gaga, um, formerly known as Lady Gaga. Um, She's too famous for that name now. Um, so if you know it, then sing along. If you don't, don't bother, because you look a bit silly. Um, hit it, maestro. <clears throat> oh, and there's a tap break in this one as well. Let's see if you can see me do it. <laughs> your ugly, I want your disease, I want your everything as long as it's free, I want your love, 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 I want your love, I'm going to ask you to sing the love, 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 okay, I want the drama, the touch of your hand, I want your leather studded kiss in the sand, I want your love, what do I want? You wouldn't let me down, I knew you wouldn't. You know that I want you. You know that I need you. Because I want it bad, your bad romance. I want your love and I want your revenge. You and me, we could write a bad romance. I want your love and all your love is revenge. You and me, we could write a bad romance. Oh, 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 oh. 
your bad romance I want your horror, I want your design Cause you're a criminal as long as you're mine I want your love, what do I want? I want your love, thank you very much Fabulous I want your horror, your vertigo stick I want you in my rear window, baby you're sick I want your love, last time let's play the reef for me no okay thank you so much thank you thank you thank you I'm going to um, take it down a little bit now because I'm exhausted after that one all that tap dancing literally wears me out um, thank you for laughing that's the comedy literally it's as far as it goes uh, not had enough drink for real comedy yet um, also not a joke just a fact um, so yeah, I'm going to take it down a little bit now. Um, are, any fans of ELO in the audience? Yeah? Fantastic. Well, this is ELO, but probably not as you've heard it before. Um, as you probably... Not just because it's me singing, of course, but um, as you've probably gathered, I, I take modern-ish songs. I know that ELO aren't necessarily what's considered modern nowadays, but more modern than the eras of which I am singing the, the versions of the songs today. I'm rambling. Um, anyway, um, I take modern-ish songs and I um, sing them with a, a vintage jazz beat to them. Um, because, why not? That's fun, right? And everyone goes, I know that song, but where's it from? And then they're like, oh, it's Lady Gaga. And they're like, oh, can't stand this song. But they're like, oh, but there's a nice tap break in the middle of this one, so that's nice. Um, but this next song, as I say, is by ELO. Um, probably, in my opinion, their most famous one. Um, there's a little bit in the, if you remember the original, where they go, so long, um, which um, obviously sounds like a dying smoke alarm when you say it like that, but um, you'll, you'll hear it and you'll go, oh yeah, that's what she's talking about. Uh, so if you fancy singing that bit, then you can, um, but if not, don't worry, it's fine. Um, Maestro, if you please. <laughs> Sun is shining in the sky. There ain't a cloud inside. It stopped raining. Everybody's in the play. Well, don't you know? It's a beautiful new day. Running down the avenue. See how the sun shines brightly on the city, 
On the streets where once was pity, Mr. Blue, sky is living here today. Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why you had to hide away for so long. <laughs> there we go. Where do we go wrong? <laughs> I knew one of you would. Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why you had to hide away for so long. Where do we go wrong? I love it. Thank you so much. I knew you'd play along. Not let me down so far. Hey, you with the pretty face, welcome to the human race. A celebration. Mr. Blue Skies up there waiting, and today is the day we've waited for. Uh. Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why. To hide away for so long. Where do we go wrong? Thank you so much, I love it. Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why you had to hide away for so long. Where did we go wrong? Where, where did we go wrong, folks? It's time to let me frog. Hey there. Mr. Blue, we're so pleased to be with you. Look around, see what you do. Everybody smiles with you. Hey there, Mr. Blue, we're so pleased to be with you. Look around, see what you do. Everybody smiles with you. Dance break. What was that? Not really, it doesn't really have the same vibe. But thanks for playing. Mr. Blue, you did it right But soon comes Mr. Knight Creeping over, got his hand up on your shoulder Never mind, I'll remember you this I'll remember you this way Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why You had to hide away for so long Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why you had to hide away for so long. Where did we go wrong? Tell me where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? Yes, Mr. Thank you very much, everybody. How are you? Are you okay? Doing all right? Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm not crying about it, though. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, we're going to pick it back up now. So I'm going to take you on a little bit of a, a journey through time. I know. Can you imagine? Um, so um, I'd like you all to close your eyes. It's fine. You can trust me. I'm a drag queen with pink hair. Um, so close your eyes. You can do this at home as well, obviously. Close your eyes. And um, we're going to go back to the 50s. S a simpler age with great fashion. Terrible politics, but great fashion. It's not too much different from now, really, is it? Um, uh, great fashion, great fashion. And in the corner of this diner that you're in, having a lovely milkshake um, and a burger, maybe. Veggie option, of course. Um, you see uh, somebody who looks very strangely like... Celine Dion. And you're like, but wait, 
Surely Celine Dion can't be around in the 50s in the way that she is now, but that would be false, because if you look at Celine Dion now, Let's be honest. She's been touched by an angel, um, uh, and and <laughs> and you hear this 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 song, and you're like, but wait, surely Titanic was from the 90s, not the 50s. Well, I'm here to prove you wrong. Hit it. <laughs> Love can touch us one time. It can. And last for a lifetime. Till we're gone. Dance break. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. That is how I know you go on. Far across the distance and spaces between us. You have come to show you go on. Sing for me if you know it, everybody. Near, far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart does go on. Once more, you open the door and you're here in my heart and my heart will go on. version than hers, let's be honest, so you know. Love can touch us one time and last for a lifetime and never let go till we're gone. Love was when I loved you one true time I hold you in my life go on once more near far wherever you are I believe that the heart does go on once more you open the door and you're here in my heart and my heart will go on and on are you ready for the key change. It's so subtle you won't even notice it. Masterpiece. <laughs> we'll stay forever this way. You are safe and my heart will go on. Once more. I like that one. Sweet. Do we like the outfit tonight? I'm surprised it still fits. It was made at the beginning of lockdown. I mean, it's stretchy as anything, but it's, just, uh, it's like ooh, squeezed into a sausage tube. But um, but thank you very much. It's nice, isn't it? I like it. Um, so um, this is uh, generally speaking my last number. I guess it's it's what I've prepared because then that's about. Half an hour. It's, this is this is that awkward moment when you realise that you're being filmed, and you're like, "Oh, is there going to be an edit, or is there not?" Because now you've got this weird moment where you're just insinuating to the audience that this is possibly a last number, depending on the edit, if there is one. And if it is the last number, then we'll do a big farewell thing now, that might or may not be cut to the end of the actual show. 
depending on what happens in the next half an hour or so. Anyway, there we go. Um, that was awkward. So, um, this is my last number. Thank you so much for having me, Very Fried. It's been an absolute treat. Um, hopefully next year we'll actually be able to party in the park again. It'd be nice. Um, maybe we can have S Club 2 this time. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And maybe they'll be on time as well. Um, but <laughs> or tea or shade. Um, no, they were lovely. They were great, weren't they? Oh, had such a good time. Um, so, um, yes, hopefully um, see you next year um, as your hostess with the most S. Because it's it's probably probably my my favourite pride that I do in the UK. To be fair, it is, and I'm not just sucking up. I'm not. It is lovely because you all care about it. You know, you you all really care about it, and and for you, it's it's not just a oh, it's pride. We should probably put something together. It's you actually want to, and it, it just it it does mean a lot, and it, it's fantastic to be a part of. So thank you very much. So this is my last song in true Mancunian style. This is a song. Uh, made famous and written by a Mancunian band. Um, you will know it. If you don't, you've been living under a rock, um, I'm afraid. I'm going to just be that blunt. Uh, however, um, thank you so much. Please sing along with the chorus. Um, don't sing the verses because I'm going to riff them something stupid and you'll be like, I don't even recognize this song. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, hit it. Let's go. <laughs> Slip inside the eye of your mind Don't you know that you might find A better place to play You said that you, you have never been But all the things that you have seen Just gonna fade away So I start a revolution from my bed Because you said the brains that I had went straight to my head Step outside, it's summertime That's right, I did. I'm so glad to see that. Take me to the place that you go where nobody knows that it's not a day. Don't put your lives in the hands of all All those rock and roll bands They'll just throw it all away So I start a revolution from my bed Cause you said the brains that I had Went straight to my head Step outside, cause it's summertime in bloom. Stand by the fireplace, take that look from above your face, cause you ain't ever gonna burn.
Hello, hello everyone, I'm Owen Wynne Evans and I'm proud to be a patron of LGBT Foundation. The charity's mission is to be here if you need us and you know, that's been more important than ever this year. Despite the challenges that so many of us have faced in recent months, it's been a memorable and extraordinary 12 months for LGBT Foundation. Okay, here are the co-chairs of LGBT Foundation, Smith and Olivia, to tell you more. Hello, my name's Olivia Butterworth. Um, I am never prouder to, t to say I'm co-chair of LGBT Foundation. What a truly remarkable year we have had. Um, if I look back to those days um, pre-COVID, because they did exist, we had a phenomenal and thriving set of services delivered and supported by an incredible staff team, an amazing team of volunteers, really making a difference for LGBT people. Our established services have continued, albeit in a different way, and even in the midst of a pandemic, we've been able to launch brand new services that means we will reach more LGBT people than ever before. This all means that LGBT Foundation can rise to any challenge and that our future is hopeful secure and bright, and that we will still be here if you need us. Now this year, LGBT Foundation celebrated the 45th anniversary of our helpline. And over the years, the helpline has provided a lifeline to thousands of LGBT people who've just had nowhere else to turn. Through the helpline, LGBT Foundation offered a vital lifeline to 2,886 LGBT people. A total of 411 hours of support were given and that's the equivalent of 274 football matches. We also celebrated the 25th anniversary of our condom and lube distribution scheme. Since the scheme launched, LGBT Foundation have distributed over 31 million condoms and sachets of lube, helping countless people have safer sex. LGBT Foundation's Talking Therapy Service 
provided 3,623 hours of counselling to 505 clients this year. Fun fact, this is the equivalent of listening to all eight studio albums by ABBA 700 times. Oh, I love it when we can shoehorn in an ABBA reference, my darlings. Our Village Angels and Haven Volunteers won the prestigious Queen's Award for Voluntary Service. And this is the highest award given to volunteer groups across the UK, which recognises the hard work of an amazing group of volunteers. A number of exciting new programmes also launched this year, including Pride in Ageing, Buy Programme, Men's Programme, Bring Dementia Out and Making Smoking History LGBT, helping even more people to improve their health and well-being and, of course, reduce feelings of isolation. And in March, the charity responded to the COVID-19 pandemic by becoming a fully remote service delivery charity in just a week, ensuring LGBT communities continue to have access to life-changing services when so many are struggling. But there's no one better to speak about the impact of LGBT Foundation than the people who've used the services, of course. Let's hear from them about the difference LGBT Foundation has made to their lives. Hi, my name's Janet. I am 55 and bisexual. I access the LGBT Foundation website specifically to use their talking therapy service, which is LGBT specific. You can fill in an online form for self-referral and you will be assigned a therapist. The therapy lasts over eight weeks and the therapist I had was absolutely outstanding. And I would have to say that that service was outstanding and for me, life-changing. Hi, it's Asia. Um, a message for Craig from LGBT Foundation. I want to truly thank you for all your help and support and your advocacy. Um, from me being diagnosed to getting me to the hospital, specialist nurses, um, getting me to the right support services and helping me access treatment. I couldn't have done it without you all. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Coming to the LGBT Foundation has made me feel welcomed like I never have before. Not only is it a mutual support group, but it's a group of LGBT people. So. I felt really like everyone understood what I was going through in more ways than one. It made me feel like I belonged to something bigger and um, I've got more confidence as, thing, as time has gone on and everyone has helped each other. I feel like not only has everyone helped me but I've been able to then try and pass on that knowledge to other people. I'm so grateful for everything the LGBT Foundation have done for me and they're doing great work so thanks guys and keep it up. With COVID-19 now a part of the daily lives of so many of us for the foreseeable future, it's vital that charities like LGBT Foundation continue to provide life-saving services for our communities. There are loads of ways to get involved with LGBT Foundation. Find out how you can become part of our journey at lgbt.foundation forward slash take part. Well, that's it from us, my darlings. Thank you for your support. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.
right now here on Digital GM Pride, everybody. And what a day it has been so far. Now, we are still with you right up until 10 p.m. here on Stream GM, raising money for the wonderful George House Trust Welfare Fund and, of course, the LGBT Foundation Free Condom and Lube Distribution Service. So this is the time now where I want you all to go to your little computer and tap, tap away and make a donation over at www.gofundme.com and search for the Target 100K project or if you want to donate just £5, all you need to do is text TARGET100K to 70085. Now, over the next hour, we've got the wonderful Cheddar Gorgeous and Laurie, House of Ghetto, Little Miss Minogue at Bolton Pride, J Sky and Berry Pride, and of course, Black Beetle. Now, before we go to our beautiful performance from Cheddar and Laurie, everyone here at GM Digital Pride wants to say a huge thank you to everyone who has made this possible. Are we ready for this, everybody? A big thank you to Carl Austin Behan, Andy Burnham, Barry Priest, everyone at Stream GM, Bolton Pride, Berry Pride, Disbury Pride, Levens Hume Pride, Manchester's Gay Village, Oldham Pride, Pride in Trafford, Tameside Pride, Rochdale in Rainbows, Salford Pride, Stockport Pride, and Wigan Pride. And of course, the wonderful Talk Talk and Bruntwood as well for bringing together this wonderful, wonderful event. Dearest audience, I would like to request your assistance in an act of collective delusion. You should be used to those by now. I want to take you back to those first few blissful months when we thought it would only last a couple of weeks. Those happy days. I did mention it was an act of collective delusion, didn't I? When the air was sweeter, even on Piccadilly Gardens. You're safe at home, wrapped up in a warm, cosy blanket. You have a brew or a nice drink. Put your feet up, switch on the live stream, and get ready for some lovely entertainment. Splendid isolation A chance to be alone I'm in Splendid isolation Locked up in my home I've not seen another human being since Who knows when And I heard it on the news today we're in lockdown again Time to take a breath and clean out all your drawers Time to reconnect, how could you ever be bored? Time to stop and look around, don't let bad thoughts get you down Chin up and turn that frown around Splendid isolation, a chance to be alone We're in splendid isolation, locked up in our homes We've not seen another human being since who knows when and we heard it on the news today We're in lockdown again I don't know how I feel about this affair I can't enjoy the garden And I cannot bleach my hair I've never been one for DIY Enjoying time off But hey, I'll try Truth be known All I want to do is cry Splendid isolation, or so the radio says Splendid isolation, my career may be dead No furlough for drag queens, no unemployment checks Just lots of zooms from messy rooms and hardly any sex You can take back your banana bread and shove it up your ass. Take back your epiphanies and chance to mow your cross I don't need to hear about 
your time to sit and read Cause I'm going slowly and sailing here and I can't leave Splendid isolation, stay home and wash your hands Splendid isolation, having a shack is definitely banned They left the borders open and screwed up track and trace And now expect us to believe that hugging was to blame I can't think of anything worse than learning how to knit But it beats the daily briefings from that blonde convent Politician Can't trust the words or what you see On the Sky News or the BBC Is it all a mess or maybe it's just me? Splendid isolation Who knows for how long Splendid isolation, oh shit, this song went wrong I had thought that it would cheer you up and get you through the day But it's just another reminder that Covid's here to stay All together everyone, splendid isolation, the government is Splendid isolation, and I don't mean just a bit But I also realise that a rant won't help at all so I best just start humming Cause you heard it all before I did a song. How lovely. Yes. That's enough. That's okay, Laurie. You can... That, Laurie? That's fine. Laurie. Introduce me. Well, yes, I suppose we could do that too. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, those embracing less class and gender-laden ways of being, my beautiful, wonderful daughter, the talent Thank to my charisma, uniqueness and nerve, it's Laurie. I'm surprised she was satisfied with that level of applause. It was quite quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Oh, What a Lovely Lockdown. I've never done a song before, so thank you for joining me on that one. I got a development grant, so I thought I'd better do something new. And if it went wrong, well, you can always just call it experimental, can't you? We were a little bit worried about the show, not just because of my class-based imposter syndrome, the accent is put on, yes, um, but also because, well, it's just been very hard to do shows, hasn't it? I've not been on stage in 12 months, so naturally I thought I'd sing and do comedy, two things I have absolutely no experience in whatsoever. And then, of course, there were the restrictions. One of the questions on the form said, how will you mediate the risks of people? laughing and cheering and I said don't worry it's definitely not going to be that it's less of a show and more of a theatrical moan with slides okay. <gasps> I love a slide don't you nothing reduces my anxiety more or your expectation less than a good PowerPoint. And slides are so helpful for really summing up the key ideas that you want people to take home from something, aren't they? But I don't want you to be worried about that. Like, I'm all right, and you're going to be all right. This is just about saying, we know, we can be honest, they're not going to burst in through the door in a moment and take us off to the Ministry of Love for re-education or anything like that. There's this been sort of this sort of expectation that we've all got to be relentlessly cheery, relentlessly cheery all the time. And that's very hard for me because I'm actually quite cynical. Thanks again for feigning surprise at that. Um, but yes, I, th I think that we're all, it's fair to say that we'd, nobody really saw this coming, did they? <gasps> a little bit awkward, a little bit awkward. But we are all very wobbly at the moment because of the shock nature of the change in our lives. We're sort of the human equivalent of blancmange, 
I just quite like saying the word blamange. 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 We're sort of holding it together, aren't we? We're keeping in shape, but heavens forbid, don't leave the fridge door open, whatever you do. For the younger viewers amongst us, because of course, drag is a family friendly activity at all times, and it's 2021. A blamange is a dessert from the 1980s that people remember very fondly, but was actually a little bit crap. A lot like war. It's a very subtle segue, because I am a very subtle person. I did think about other names for the show. Oh, what a lovely mess. How to survive a slow-moving existential crisis whilst cut off from everybody you love. But I thought, Cheddar, distinguish it from a regular weekend. You know, you'll only get a chance once to do a show actually about the lockdown. You can do that show any time in your life. But we have been handed as well, haven't we, a lot of this sort of good old blighty, blitz spirit, wartime nostalgia, you know. There he is. There we go. Classic example. You know, keep stiff up our lip, etc., etc. Patriotism, patriarchy. Roll your sleeves up, get your hands dirty. Oh, no, that one doesn't work at all, does it? <laughs> Wash your hands clean of responsibility. And then, of course, there was the incredibly well-timed death of Dame Vera Lynn. I'm not suggesting it was planned. I'm just saying it was quite well-timed, wasn't it? You know, we'll meet again. We all had that sort of song in our minds and that spirit going on, didn't we? And she was lovely. She was 103 years old, lived to a fine old age, a true British institution and not one of the racist ones. So that's good, isn't it? We could actually celebrate her, unlike other deaths recently. But you can't be annoyed at me for bringing that up, because one of the first things that I did in lockdown, with the help of some friends, was a 25 drag queen tribute to Dame Gillian that raised £3,000 for age concern. and was released two weeks before she actually died. Which, I don't know, I think that deserves a round of applause too. When have you, thanks. When have you ever known a drag queen do something early? Seriously. I live alone. Oh. Thank you, Laurie. And thank you at home for feigning surprise on that one. And the thing about living alone, obviously it was, it was tough, it was really hard, but what I noticed actually was the amount of people who reached out and got in touch with me, like people I had heard from years, and not just in that WhatsApp, hey, how are you, winky face. Um, it, it, it was genuinely, I felt more connected than I have done in a really, really long time. Because I think as an artist, you kind of get distracted. You're, you know you know what it's like, Laurie. You're traveling around the world, you're doing gigs constantly, all over the place. You don't, you don't have time for a weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those sorts of things. And so I really, became very grateful for a lot of things during lockdown. I became grateful for the wonderful people that I have in my life. Like me. Like you. I became grateful for things like, things like the people that we needed that I think we didn't really appreciate before. For example, the shop workers. Can we get a round of applause for the shop workers? And what about the education workers? That's right, it's an entire series of self-portraits. It's really about you, but using pictures of me. You can see what I did there. And of course, don't forget, it's the lovely refuse collectors. We would literally be swimming in our own trash right now if it wasn't for them, wouldn't we? But we must not forget, it's the community workers. A broad and wide umbrella. Take your moment of appreciation. It's wonderful to have you in our lives. And delivery people. I had so much delivered during lockdown, not a pun, that actually I was able to make this beautiful, beautiful fashion piece that you see here, made from all of the wonderful deliveries I received. 
But of course, we must not leave out the NHS. <laughs> I would take my hat off to them if there wasn't a huge line in the makeup on my face. Rounds of applause for them, absolutely, because, you know, applause works a lot like funding. I did plan on doing one for billionaires and also footballers, who are naturally the real heroes in our world because they still, you know, got paid the same throughout the entire thing. More in some cases. But I simply, you know what it was like in lockdown, I just couldn't find the time. I couldn't. I was too busy organizing my books into alphabetical and numerical order by both author and also by title. There were, of course, some people. It's your bit, Laurie. Oh, no. <clears throat> there were, of course, some people who were simply left out of government provision, whose needs were not recognized, let alone met, that fell by the wayside, abandoned by society. I am, of course, referring to attention seekers. There are hundreds, thousands, if you include all of the ones who've started doing it in the last three years, of drag queens who were ripped away from their lifeblood the love of an adoring crowd. Or even an indifferent one that hasn't actually noticed that they're on stage yet. And of course, vodka. I mean, they had vodka. We saw that they had vodka, obviously. But they didn't have vodka that was bought for them by another person who they will never, ever see again. While you were taking up new hobbies, baking banana bread and zooming zumba, day drinking, and confronting the tragic reality of your failed attempts at child rearing. Never before have so many alphabets begun with the letter G and ended with the letter T. Drag queens, they simply had to get on with it. They had to faff about with ring lights and consider seriously the appropriate OnlyFans subscription fee for a modest unicorn that doesn't want to take things too far or ruin their prospect of a gig reading stories to children at Pride. Thank you for that one, by the way, Trafford. That's, that's enough with that one, Laurie. I think they've had enough, haven't they, the drag queens? Because they, they, we're quite adaptive, I mm. think, as nightlife performers, aren't we? <laughs> yes. You know, and we got up to plenty of things. We found ways to get our fix for attention, didn't we? For example, all of the wonderful live shows you might have taken in. Fun for all the family family-friendly entertainment, constantly. And then, of course, with the wonderful innovations in street performance that you may have seen. And, of course, don't forget that when the restaurants opened up, we were able to provide totally appropriate and completely tasteful entertainment to help your food go down, as it were. And, but the latest innovation that I just think is such a marvel and it, it's just an absolute wonder, is, of course, drag and drive shows. I mean, the drag, the drag queens, I think, I think they're sort of here in the light, which is where they, it's where they like to be. And uh, quite frankly, I can't think of anything better than watching a drag queen from far, far away from the safety of my own car and locking the doors. I mean, it's a good health and safety tip, and not just for a time in a global pandemic. And who can forget selling bread? Not a joke. And they were also paid in bread as well. I used to be a drag queen. Really, Laurie? Yes, and I've got something I'd like to say. Oh, please, 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 please. Okay. I've worn lashes and I've worn heels I've even worn a wig I've dressed up as a monster and I've dressed up as a pig 
I've done shows and I've done clubs and we've both done Bury Pride. Woo! But there's something we must tell you. There is something we can't hide. Uh, what is it, Laurie? I'll tell you. <clears throat> we do it for attention. Everything we do, we do it for attention. It's true. We love the attention. For everything we do, we love the attention. Oh, yes, it's true. I've got followers. And I have friends. But I still can't get my fix. There's nothing more social than media, so go and like my pics. Follow me on Instagram and we can be best friends. I don't know you, you don't know me, but we can pretend. Cause Let's we do, do it, it for attention. attention. Oh, everything, everything we do, do is do it for attention. Because we, we love the attention For everything we do We love the attention Oh, it's true Community Community me. All the selfies that you post The secret competition It's about who gets liked the most We need the validation for everything we do Yes, I need the validation It's sad, but it's true Validation, 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 that's what oh. I had to say. What a lovely, completely impromptu and totally unrehearsed interjection, Laurie. We definitely did not plan that. Amazing, really, when you think about it. Anyway, what else did I get up to during that lockdown thing, eh? I, of course, won a competition to draw a rainbow. Wow. The international symbol of the NHS. <coughs> hmm. I'm, actually, I'm not actually angry about that one, to be honest with you. Have you ever tried to make six contrasting colours fashion? You sort of end up with something like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, obviously, I pulled it off here. But you can't expect regular human beings to do that. Load of Crayola, it's not going to work out. Do you know what I mean? So I think you can keep the rainbow. Have it, it's fine. I much prefer a pink triangle. It's a much more potent and powerful political symbol. And there were lots of powerful and potent and important political symbols, weren't there? For example, this one. Which I'm just going to leave there for a little bit. And then there was this one. And don't forget this one. I think it's very important that as drag queens we speak to power whenever we can. We use our voices to carry on important conversations. I mean, there, there were some conversations that I did engage in that didn't quite receive as much recognition. They're not as important issues, but they were very important to me. For example, my relentless campaign against Matt Hancock about when I would be a loud cock. I'm single. Oh. Thank you, Laurie. And thank you again at home for the faint surprise. Intimacy is a very important thing. You might think it's quite trivial, but actually it's on the Maslow's hierarchy of need. I read a book and it, things have been very, very, very hard. Oh, come on, I'm allowed one dick joke. Did you all take no dick joke vows during your lockdowns? Spiritual awakenings, 
You booked a drag queen. Sorry about it, folks. But no, I did. I, I don't want to say that I was responsible at any point for the amazing bubbling legislation that came in eventually, or that somehow I played an important role in this critically important issue. I'm just saying it might have played a part. Do you know what I mean? But I also, I mean, I don't want you to worry about me because I also recognize that I'm okay and I did fine because I was prepared. I've been preparing for an apocalypse since 2012, quite frankly. I was very let down when that didn't happen. But no, were you all out getting tin tuna and panic buying loo rolls? because that was a thing. I was stocking up on lavender candles and poppers. <laughs> Both room odorizers, when you think about it. Although, you know, don't get them confused, because one's highly flammable. Well, and the other one, it's just not going to relax you in the way that you'd hoped. I mean, it, it'll relax you in a different way, but not like that. You know what I mean. Well, those who know know what I mean, as it were. But I think the key was getting into a good routine, wasn't it? And so I definitely did. It would be early mornings throughout the week, a candle and worship on the weekend. Sometimes I would have a candle and worship on a weeknight as well. And when I say worship, I am, of course, referring to masturbation. <laughs> I mean, the candle and the masturbation, they don't necessarily have to go together. But they're not mutually exclusive which in many ways is how I see cynicism and hope. Another very subtle segue there, I know. <laughs> I was a little worried about being too cynical with you all, because times have been hard. And I want you to know that I'm accentuating the positive, and I hope you are too. We're all very excited to get back out there. But it's important to acknowledge where we are. Somebody said to me whilst I was developing the show, they said something very lovely about cynicism that made me feel a little bit more okay, and that is cynicism is merely an expression of extreme romance. Because a cynic is a person who had such high expectations that the world couldn't possibly live up to. Cynicism is an act of grief for hope unfulfilled. And if that doesn't typify what the lockdown means, I don't know what does. Well, I've managed to bring them down, Laurie. I've done my job. Should we bring it back up with a song? Because that's what we do in England when things get awkward. Okay. Let's do it. Maybe something hopeful, something, you know, joyful. Well, this is good. Keep going, keep going. I'll have some water. <clears throat> you can see your friends again As long as you wear a mask You could shag a stranger as long as they've had the vax You can go to a bar again As long as you sit outside The sun is rising, the new normal's here There's no more need to hide After lockdown Things will be just great After lockdown of that there is no debate The art scene is in tatters And the clubs have locked their doors But things will be better than They were before Try to be positive Don't embrace the fear Try to be positive Oh, despair is near, but don't test positive whatever you do. Cause if the cases go back up again, they'll just blame me and you. After lockdown, but will it ever end? After lockdown, oh, fuck it, let's just pretend. The NHS has survived without a pay rise But maybe we should give them one Cal surprise You try writing a song in one night and making it rhyme in lockdown I had to spend a lot of development time rhinestoning this hat 
After lockdown We'll all live in peace After lockdown There'll be no more grief It might sound idealistic But let's give it a try We'll use our collective power To destroy these government lies We'll build back better But not in the way that they planned And work together Doing it hand in hand we could change the world today as long as we believe Although this sounds like a saccharine song from the 90s After lockdown Maybe hope will return After lockdown We'll all learn There may be no money and it feels like there's no hope but just keep it together Somehow we'll cope They've always lied to us It's nothing new I know it's hard sometimes But we'll make it through Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for indulging us this evening. It's lots of lovely entertainment still to come, so stick with us. Please, a round of applause for my beautiful, beautiful daughter, Laurie. Sorry for playing that E minor. It's all right. It's the imperfections that make things perfect. Good night. Good night. My name's Paul Cording. I'm on Greenwatch Moss Side into my 20th year. And this is my son, Joshua. I've been in uh, two years. I'm on Blue Watch Moss Side. Seeing growing up, seeing my dad do the job, you know, hearing the stories, hearing the smoking stories about, you know, jobs made me want to do it. And it's just the rewarding aspect of turning out, helping people, and also, um, you know, coming to work. It is like a second family. You know, you get, you basically live here for four days. Do you know what I mean? You're with these people every day, so it's, that family aspect is a great part of the job. I'm from the area. And there's no better feeling when you drive out and you think, there's there's my high school, there's my college. I need to knock around this local area with, uh, with friends, and here I am representing the community in the fire service. Because I used to go to Lerato College just across there. And even then, as a 16, 17 year old, you see the fire engine pull out from here. You just think that'd be a great job one day. And 20 years later, here I am. So. I'm very thankful, extremely blessed and so grateful. I wanted to be a firefighter because um, ultimately I wanted to be useful. I wanted to have um, feel proud of what I do. I'm a mum of three, so I also hope to set a good example to my children. I mean, every time I put the shirt on, I kind of pitch myself, even to this day, people might think it's cheesy and, cheesy and corny, but so many times, leave me lock in the mirror there, and I look, I look at myself in the shirt and think, Cameron, you're in the fire service. And that's 14 years later. And, it's given me a lot this job. I'm very thankful, very, very grateful, very blessed. I see him, so I do it. So I do it. Just touch down in your girl house. She keep it clean and neat up. Sip her juice, kick my feet up. Before the pussy get beat up. She said a long time she want me. Send me the about she on it. Me know in a no long time. Get girl, you feel you with the pun on it. Yeah, you better ready for the fuck now. Long time you never get it, so me touch down. Fill it up in your belly till you pop down. You're the bed in your house, I get broke now. Silly fam bok patalo Silly fam bok patalo Silly fam bok patalo Otimbo, Otimbo Otimbo Urushaga, Urushaga Silly fam bok patalo Silly fam bok patalo Silly fam bok patalo Otimbo, Otimbo I've never seen my bottom like this You tell him and it's not the issue, come and pum pum turn up 
Hey, that my shop, it coming boom, boom, turn up. And if I'm with my Barbie dolls, you know the whole crew done up. Yeah, we done up and plus the boom, boom, turn up. Strange up, looking for some danger. Ride it like a bud gut, fierce of an angel. This one, yeah, I'm major. UK out to Asia. Pull out in the range, got them beeping like a pigeon. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I've never seen my bottom like this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, god. I've never seen my bottom like this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, god. I've never seen my bottom like this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, god. I've never seen my bottom like this. I mean, J. Sky, body consciousness doesn't always mean that it's people who are curvy or with right. bigger shapes. 
it, you know, it can happen to anybody, right? I mean, you look like you have a normal kind of, I guess, what you would say, physique. Oh, thank you very much. Well, that is the question, what is normal? Correct. I think everybody is normal. Yep. How you doing, everybody? You all right? Don't light me up and then let me down. If you push your luck, I won't be around I could turn a smile into a frown And if you come for me, I might weigh you down It might be easy to go on ahead and just leave me But if you please me, I'll make it easy I know you tease me, I'm not the one to be teasing But if you're decent I'll make it easy, I'll make it 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 You might tie me up, you won't tie me down Tripping on my words just to spell it out But when it comes to us we always work it out We don't have to scream, we don't have to shout It might be easy to go ahead and just leave me But if you please me, I'll make it easy I know you tease me, I'm not the one to be teasing But if you're decent I'll make it easy, I'll make it I'll make it, yeah I'll make it I'll make it I'll make it, yeah Hello, how are you today, you alright? Oh, thank you very much <laughs> So I actually live in Bury. I am called Jay Sky. I am a singer-songwriter, and I was also on a Channel 4 show called Naked Beach. So that was all about helping people learn to love themselves no matter their shape or size. So I implore you all to start to look at yourselves with love and optimism, and I'm hopefully going to entertain you with some more music. The next track I've got for you is called Want You, and that's the lead single from my EP, which is called Alamode. Mode. So I hope you like it. All right? You know the time Sees you in the club and keeps walking by Baby Playing shy Acting tough when you're weak inside You know what I mean I want you, I need you Got to, got to have you baby Cause you've been on my mind Every single night you got me If you want me You know you drive me crazy, baby Come into my life I make it all so fine I just want you I just want you I just want you, baby That's it, sway I just want, I, I just want you I just want you I just want you Baby, I'm not the type to fall in love But you got me thinking some things Got me thinking so much That I got to change my game You're not like the others Want you to be my lover Let me be what you need oh, I want you I need you, got to, got to have you, baby Cause you've been on my mind Every single night you got me If you want me, you know you drive me crazy, baby Come into my life, I make it all so right I just want you, I just want you I just want you, baby I just want, I, I just want you I just want, I, 
to face when someone else instead of me always seems to know the way then I look at you and the world's alright with me just one look at you and I know it's gonna be it's gonna be a lovely day, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day. Oh yes, a lovely day, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day. Oh yeah, a lovely day. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now it sounds like a little bit of a party, okay? You might want to turn the music up a bit for this one, you know. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stomping. And the jam is pumping, look ahead, the crowd is jumping. Pump it up, a little more, get the party going on the dance floor. See, cause that's where the party's at, Manchester knows how to do it. 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 Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stomping. And the jam is pumping, look ahead, the crowd is jumping. Pump it up, a little more, get the party going on the dance floor. See, cause that's where the party's at. Manchester knows how to do it. 
Manchester knows how to do it. Manchester knows how to do it. Manchester knows how to do this. Manchester knows how to do it. I want a place to stay. And I made my day. I want a place to stay. And I made my day. Make my day. Make my make make me make my day. Make my day. Make my day. Make my make make me make my day. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stomping, and the jam is pumping. Look ahead, the crowd is jumping. Pump it up a little more, get your party going on the dance floor. See, 'cause that's where the party's at. Manchester, go ahead and do that. 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 I know, I know. Manchester, go ahead and do that. I want a place to stay. And I make my day. I want a place to stay. And I make my day. Make my day. Make my make 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 make, make my day. Make my day. Make my day. Make my make 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 my day. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. <laughs> Okay, so this is called Keep Your Love On and it's all about doing what makes you happy. Follow your joy, that's what it's about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your love on, keep your, keep your love on. Keep your love on my mind Need your love by, need your, need your love by Need your love all the time To travel, meet people, change my life Work hard, teach people, free my mind And so one day, I realize I realize, I realize Keep your love on, keep you, keep your love on Keep your love on my mind Need your love by, need you, need your love by Need your love all the time Travel, meet people, change my life Work hard, teach people, free my mind And so one day, I realized I realized, I realized Keep your love on, keep your, keep your love on Keep your love on my mind Need your love by, need you, need your love by, need your love all the time. To travel, meet people, change my life, work hard, teach people, free my mind. And so one day, I realize, I realize, I realize, I realize, I realize. I realize I realize Okay. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. You are so lovely, honestly. I've got one more track to go. Um, I know. Um, but it's a good one, hopefully. Um, it's all about self-love and that conversation that you have with yourself, telling yourself that you are enough. This was something I wrote when people were saying that I was in love with myself, which I thought was a little bit rude, so I decided to do a Beyonce on them and flip it into a positive message. <laughs> and say, you know what, that's a good thing. Let's all do that a bit more. So this is called Myself, and hopefully it makes you feel great about yourself too. Myself. Never gonna be the guy that would End up feeling so dumb Had me right all day at thumb What the hell did you do to me? And now I'm sitting by myself Thinking about someone else The days of being sorry now I'll roll them down, yeah Oh, my love is so, so real And my heart is so, so true Everything that was lost in myself I found it in you Oh, my life is so enriched All I needed was a reason to live And now I know what the reason is I'm in love with myself Yes, baby I'm in love with myself Yeah I saw it in myself I saw it in my I saw it in my I saw it in my I saw it in myself Yes, baby Stronger Like a lion Like a phoenix I am rising like a diamond I am shining within myself I learn to love And it never even crossed my mind The reason why I ever needed someone's love No, no, no Oh, my love is so, so real My heart is so, so true Everything that was lost in myself I found it in you Oh, my life is so enriched all I needed was a reason to live And now I know what the reason is yeah, yeah. I'm in love with myself Yes, baby I'm in love with myself Yeah I saw it in myself I'm in love with myself Yes, baby I'm in love with myself Thank you very, very much Be kind to each other Even when you are on the internet Thank you so much for having me stream GM and Digital Pride But be kind Alright, thank you, cheers Black Beetle Health is going the distance to ensure LGBTQ plus black and people of color are equipped with the health information they need to thrive in a world not necessarily created for their success. 
As an organization, we have set out to promote health, well-being, and equality through evidence-based, peer-reviewed health education and resource development by addressing health misinformation, educating our communities on health and well-being topics, signposting to culturally safe health and well-being services for LGBTQ plus people of color throughout the UK, and empowering individuals within our community to become more informed decision makers. Since our inception in June of 2019, we have delivered over 60 health and well-being presentations, which more than 2,000 people have attended, created four culturally safe health guides, and a complete series of quarterly newsletters. We have distributed over 70 care packages and dedicated over 1,800 health promotion hours as a team to deliver our collective service. To our amazing funders, trustees, board of advisors, team members, and you, our supporters, thank you for enabling us to do more, reach more, and be more for LGBTQ plus black and people of color across the UK. To learn more and to access our resources, visit our website at www.blackbeetlehealth.co.uk. The coronavirus pandemic is having a detrimental impact on the LGBTQ plus community. Findings from the Quarantine study show that 72% of LGBTQ plus people reported high levels of depressive symptoms during the pandemic. Experiencing discrimination or harassment because of one's sexual orientation or gender identity was associated with a three-fold increase in the likelihood of reporting depression. A report by the LGBT Foundation found that LGBTQ plus people also faced increasing difficulties accessing health and social services. In both studies, participants reported feeling isolated and cut off from others in the LGBTQ plus community. Some people also reported feeling unsafe at home. One transgender respondent put it in these terms. Being transgender in a household that doesn't accept me is difficult, but before isolation, I could escape to a friend's house for support. That's no longer an option. If you're having a difficult time, you are not alone. There's a huge range of LGBTQ plus organizations that are running their services remotely. LGBT Foundation has a range of online events and a telephone befriending service. Several LGBTQ plus organizations have helplines and other services. Check out Consortium's online directory for support in your area. Volunteering is another great way to connect with other LGBTQ plus people. We're going through a hard time. Reach out to others in the community if you need help. Now, first up, though, we've got the amazing performance from the brilliant Lacuna J. After that, we've got Josh Robinson, House of Ghetto, Jay Andrew, and Rowetta, everybody. So make sure you stick around for that. In the meantime, let's have some fantastic music for the one and only Lacuna J. Hi, guys. Given to you later on. Had you on my mind for minutes, mom. 
trying to figure out how I'll get you out somehow. When you say what you want, you do, you don't. You know I got it. Home and like you mean it. Ooh, kiss me like you need me. Ooh, tell me what you want, tell me what you're craving, cause you know I got it bad, yeah. It's a bit heated sometimes with some of my songs, pre-warning. Um, I'm Lacuna J. Thank you so much for having me. Um, that was Red Wine. Um, this next song is, I shouldn't have done that because it's a sad song, so I'm not going to want to move about. Um, it's called Taurus. Um, and it's about loving someone and they don't love you back. So, yeah. I missed you, but not as much as you. Don't miss me. Oh, how I wish I, wish I kissed you so much more when you were next to me. And maybe it's because I'm a Taurus. I feel there's something more to this distance. Jealousy is starting to rise. Insecurities I cannot hide beneath my surface. Oh, forgive me for loving you in that suffocation. Maybe it's 
because I'm a Taurus I feel there's some symbol to this distance Jealousy is starting to rise Insecurities I cannot hide when these my shadows Oh, am I right? Step in someone else running round your mind, even though you swear blind, you can never meet my eyes when you're lying. And maybe it's not because I'm a Taurus, maybe there's something more to this distance. Jealousy is starting to rise. Insecurities you can't deny What you're doing is hurting But I love you Thanks guys, didn't mean to make you sad <clears throat> um, Yeah, so that's Taurus, because I'm a Taurus Blame it on the star sign um, I also have a gig um, at the 18th of November at Yes in Manchester um, as well, if anyone fancies coming down. Full band, not as sad. <laughs> um, this next song is called Confessions and it's about being naughty. Yeah. So enjoy. Woo. 
always gets really hot after that song, and I don't know why. Um, yeah, that was Confessions. They're all available on Spotify as well, if, and Apple Music and all major streaming platforms. <coughs> um, this next song is my last song, um, and it's called Fool for Loving You, which is my latest release. And it's about <coughs> when someone that you really care about <coughs> like won't let go of someone else, but they're like toxic. So, but also when you've also been that person. So yes, a little bit of self-reflection too. <laughs> But in her nails got a tongue so sore So she thought, now are you eyes for Finger on lip, taking the shit for this Still under her skin You think you got away you needed In a head like right between her feelings Should've been searching for the exit Still under her skin Can't quit, but she's better off without you Quick fixes and what can we already know? She's falling hard. Oh, she's such a fool for loving you. Oh, she's such a fool. Oh, she's such a fool. Oh, she's such a fool for loving you. She's falling hard. Oh, she's such a fool for loving you. Lay on a bed, stuck in her head again. Feeling alone, checking her phone, no messages. Trying to stop hitting you up when you with her friends. Got what you wanted. You think you got away you needed. In a head like right between her feelings. Should have been searching for the exit. Still under her skin. Can't quit, but she's better off without you. Quick fixes and what can we already know? She's falling hard. Oh, she's such a fool for loving you. Oh, she's such a fool. Oh, she's such a fool. Oh, she's such a fool for loving you. She's falling hard. Oh, she's such a fool for loving you. Heartbeat sinking, what was she thinking? Losing her mind over someone she can't win Trying her hardest to keep your interest But you never even care Can't quit, but she's better off without you Quick fixes and what can we already do? She's falling hard Oh, she's such a fool And what can we already do? She's falling hard. Oh, she's such a fool for loving you. Oh, she's such a fool. 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 Oh, she's such a fool for loving you. Such a fool for loving you. Oh, she's such a fool. Thank you. Put it on the cleaner chair there, everybody. Make some noise. Come on. There we go. That was sensational. A big thank you to this but guy Eddie, as well. This is my Eddie. I didn't. I wanted to say that, but I didn't know when I could say it. Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Are you all right? I'm going to swap places with you, okay, Lacuna. Yeah. Seamless. Did we get a camera to follow that then as well? That was good, wasn't it? All right then, of course this bit of event has been going on for so long today. We wanted to bring one gentleman to come and talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord, Sir, Carlos Dimbiano, OBE doctor of wherever, probably who. How are you doing, love? Oh, what a day. It's been absolutely amazing. And why was it so important to put an event like this together for you? To bring the, the, the whole of the Greater Manchester LGBTQ plus community together, because as we know, uh, the last 18 months have been pretty bad for people and uh, and also we didn't know where we were going to be with with live events and whether or not our, you know we we're going to have pride events and whether or not certain areas within greater manchester didn't manage to do a live event or even to sort of do anything anything digital um but working with all the uh, the pride organizers from 
all the, the 10 boroughs, and that also includes Disby Pride and Levenshume Pride and all the community pride events, to bring them together, working in collaboration. And, and I think one thing that sort of stood out for me, even being here all day today, is the fact of how amazing um, the lineup has been with the talent. And because basically what happened was we, we handed over to the pride organizers themselves to put in some elements of today to make sure that it represented their borough. Because we know, you know there's, there's certain places where it might just be all about you know, wanting a nice old happy time, uh, but then there's also the cultural side of it. There's also the, the fact of you know, making sure it was educational as well to people. And I think what I've, I've as I say, absolutely blown away with the, with the talent. And there's been over 50 artists performing today. And, and even then we're looking at, you know, I'm, I was listening, I've, I was mesmerized then, uh, as I have been throughout the day with, with quite a lot of the artists that we've had. You know, some have been funny, we've had spoken word, we've had poems, we've had, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, Black Ivory, you know, mm -hmm, we, we, mm -hmm. we found that very, very amusing. Um, but again, it's, it's representative of our communities right across Greater Manchester. And um, yeah, and, and I just want to say a massive thank you to to yourself, Misty and Cheddar, for sort of hosting today, uh, and for Stream GM for for believing in me because this this was this was an idea 16 months ago that I first started with, and then having GM Culture, having uh, Badger Coombs, the production team, having uh, LG uh, publicist get behind it and, and believe in it, and also the combined authority and the mayor of Greater Manchester as well giving his support. I, I'm absolutely blown away, but do you know what? The, the, this this gives a legacy now to be able to do so much more with it, with the talent that we've got in Greater Manchester. So, is it returning then? I would like to say so. Yeah. Um, whether or not it's a, whether or not it's a mix of a digital and, and a live event, um, it's something that I, I'll definitely be speaking to the rest of the Greater Manchester Pride Network to see what we can do for 2022. And very, very quickly, we are trying to raise money today. Them two causes that we're raising money for, very, very important causes. Yeah, we're raising money for the LGBT Foundation uh, Condom and Lube distribution. And we're also raising money for the George House Trust uh, Welfare Fund. The link is on the bottom. I'm going to do that because I've not, I've not read that bit out. <laughs> I know it's the GoFundMe and it's the target 1,000K. Uh, and I know there's a phone number as well. And again, that's going to be on the, on, on the screen. And I really please, you know, do, do, even if it's a fiver, support the charities because you've had... 10 hours or you'll have 10 hours of full-on entertainment, uh, varied entertainment. I know the last hour is going to be Gadio uh, and Chris Herbert and, and thanks for the support he's given as well. But this couldn't have been achieved without all the artists, everyone giving their time, believing in something and believing in the fact that here in Greater Manchester, you know, we represent uh, 215,000 people within our LGBTQ uh, Q Club community. And what an amazing celebration today has been. It's been amazing, but it's not over. Like you say, we've got a lot more to come your way. And we're going to move on now straight away to our next, where am I? Over there, to our next fantastic act. Turned around and kicked to the ground, always. 
is a lonely boy You were the one that they talk about Around town as they put you down And as hard as they might try to hurt To make you cry You never cry to them Just to your soul No, you never cry to them Just to your soul Run away, turn away, run away, turn away, run away Run away, turn away, run away, turn away, run away Run away, turn away, run away, turn away, run away Run away, turn away, run away, turn away, run away You leave in the morning with everything you own in a little black case Alone on the platform, the wind and the rain on your sad and lonely face. Run away, turn away, run away, turn away, run away. Run away, turn away, run away, turn away, run away. Run away, turn away. Run away, turn away, run away, turn away, run away. Run, boy, to your soul. Run, boy, to your soul. Run, boy, to your soul.
stare into your eyes All I can do is fantasize Falling asleep next to me A kaleidoscope of vivid dreams for love. Your love, I'm ready for your love. 
My name is Jason, but tonight you can call me Luna. <laughs> do you like my gold dress? I do. It's sparkly. <laughs> so I know that this year has been really, really tough on everybody. So the deal is, tonight you just sit back, you relax, and you enjoy the ride. Yeah? Grand. So let's take it back to the old school. She wakes up every morning just to do her hair now because she cares, y'all. Her day wouldn't be right without her makeup. She never had a makeup. She's just like you and me, but she's homeless. She's homeless. <laughs> and she stands there singing for Monday. La la lee. She wakes up every morning just to do her hair now because she cares, y'all. Her day wouldn't be right without her makeup. She never had a makeup. She's just like you and me, but she's homeless. She's homeless. <laughs> And she sits there singing for my name. Oh no, la la di, la la di, la la di. Introducing my friend and the real Ebony Enchantress, Natasha Moonshine. Woo!
category is Cutie Pop Excellence. For me, oh, not today. You calculated, I got your number. Cause you're a joker, and I'm a courtside killer queen. And you will kiss the ring, you best believe. So keep calm, honey, I'ma stick around for more than a minute. Get used to it. Funny, my name keeps coming out your mouth. I stay with me, lay a love like Swish, swish, bitch. Another one in the basket. Can touch this. Another one in the casket. No. Stick around for more than a minute. Get used to it. Funny, my name keeps coming out your mouth. I stay with it, lay them up like another one in the. You can't touch this. Another one in the. Swish, swish, swish. Another one in the, and another one, and another one, and another one. Can't touch this. Another one in the basket. They know what is what, but they don't know what is what. They know what is what, but they don't know what is what. They just what is what, but they don't know what is what. They just strut. So keep calm, honey, I'ma stick around For it than a minute, get used to it Funny, my name keeps coming out your mouth <laughs> Swish, swish, bish. <laughs> yeah. It is hot. So, the biggest piece of advice that someone gave me this year is to love myself in 100% of my entirety, to love every fiber of my being, to have that feeling of self-belief and self-confidence. And I made a choice, my boots fall in, I made a choice to make myself that promise. Have you made that choice to make yourself that promise? Are you drunk enough not to judge what I'm doing? Are you high enough to excuse that you're ruined? Cause you're ruined. Is it late enough for you to come and stay over? Because we're free to love, so tease me. Oh, I made no promises. I can keep holding rings, but I'll give you everything. Magic is 
the air. There ain't no science here, so come give your everything. Tonight. I make no promises, I can't use golden rings, but I'll give you everything. Tonight. Magic is in the air. There ain't no science here, so come get your everything. Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> because you're what? <laughs> You're everything tonight. Is it loud enough? Because my body is calling for you. It's calling for you. I need someone to do the things that I do. Is it late enough? Energy's taking control. Cause we're free to love. My Dancing alone No promises But I'll give you everything Tonight Magic is in the air There ain't no science here So I'll give you everything Tonight I make no promises I can do golden rings But I'll give you everything Tonight Magic yeah, no science here to come get your tonight. Tonight, because you're what? You're everything tonight. So the next number will be my last one with you. I know it's sad times. Um, so I want to thank you all. Thank, I can't thank everybody, you know. Thank you to the Met, thank you to Barry Pride, thank you to Barry, thank you to. Reese and Nelly and Natasha. Thank you to Darren. Thank you to Ricky, Riff, Greg. Everybody that's been involved. To my mom. To Che. <clears throat> Ready? Clock it in. I made no promises. I can do golden rings, but I'll give you everything. Tonight. Yeah, there ain't no science here, so don't get your <laughs> I mean no promises, I can do golden rings, but I'll give you everything. Yeah, there ain't no science here, so don't get your tonight, tonight. Because you're everything tonight. Don't you feel like love is like glitter? I do. It's infectious. It makes you smile. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know how you did it, but you got me when you covered me with your kisses. And how did you shatter my inner visions? No one else could ever make this cold heart glisten. But maybe we could go again. Ooh, forever. For life. Cause baby, I'll shine when your body's on mine. Cause your love is like glitter. All over me, baby. I wanna get lost in your eyes. I'm alright if I find the side. Dance for me, dance for me. Just wrap me in your arms tonight. I wanna get lost in your eyes. I'm alright if I find the side. Dance for me, dance for me. I don't know where you came from, but you got me thinking maybe you could be the one. You could be the one. I don't know how this game of love is won. All I know is me and you, we out here vibing. So maybe we should dive in. Ever for life, and I wanna be, I wanna be like this together. Cause baby, I'll shine when your body's on mine. It's like a glitter. 
I wanna get lost in your eyes. I'm alright if I fight this I dance. You dance. Just wrap me in your arms. Your eyes. Your eyes. Dance for me. Dance, baby. Baby. You know my love for you never. Never gonna change, babe. You know this heart of mine never gonna change. No, it's not. You're with me tonight. You're with me for life. You're with me to fight. And you know I'm gonna look at you and say the same. Put it all over me, baby. Put it all on me. Put it all over. Woo! Put it all over. Baby, put it all on me. Put it all over me, baby. Put it all over me, baby. Your love. Your love. It's like a little And we walk, walk for me, walk for me, walk for me, outro in, walk for me, walk for me, walk for me, outro in. Happy Monday start, music for next year, I'm gonna say. It is, of course, the fabulous Roberta! Thank you!
Thanks to James Benioff. And it's brilliant to be back from the Kids 2017. It was back, it feels like the live side of the lockdown. But a great time. And Ben is here as well. And Patsy is here again tonight. It's going to be a great night. And I'm going to sing a song now. that's going to sing Patsy and the classical Candy State. And it's called You've Got the Love. So get your hands in the air. The coronavirus pandemic is having a detrimental impact on the LGBTQ community. Findings from the Quarantine study show that 72% of LGBTQ people reported high levels of depressive symptoms during the pandemic, experiencing discrimination or harassment because of one's sexual orientation or gender identity was associated with a threefold increase in the likelihood of reporting depression. A report by the LGBT Foundation found that LGBTQ plus people also faced increasing difficulties accessing health and social services. In both studies, participants reported feeling isolated and cut off from others in the LGBTQ plus community. Some people also reported feeling unsafe at home. One transgender respondent put it in these terms. Being transgender in a household that doesn't accept me is difficult, but before isolation, I could escape to a friend's house for support. That's no longer an option. If you're having a difficult time, you are not alone. There's a huge range of LGBTQ plus organizations that are running their services remotely. LGBT Foundation has a range of online events and a telephone befriending service. Several LGBTQ plus organizations have helplines and other services. Check out Consortium's online directory for support in your area. Volunteering is another great way to connect with other LGBTQ plus people. We're going through a hard time. Reach out to others in the community if you need help. It, everybody what a fantastic day we've all had before i leave in the cable hands of gadio's chris herbert let's just say a big thank you to you people out there for taking part watching and donating in the first ever digital gm pride everybody yes indeed uh I'll tell you what let's do it again maybe in person next year in the meantime over to you <laughs> It's 
Clouds shine like Christmas. Heels on six inches. Waist inch, smooth, glad fit. You can't have this, you can't hit this. I got a new man in my business. And he all about his business. And his name ain't honey, your business. Oh, oh, oh. Pin up girl on that poster. Say it so like I'm Doja. Icy, wifey, body shape, Coca-Cola. I got a new man in my business. And he all about his business. And his name ain't none of your business. Oh, oh, oh. peaches money long like beaches rose royce screeching rolex gleaming blonde hair i bleached it you could call me khaleesi i stay up on my queen shit up here the haters look teeny tiny Ooh.
on giving me the hold up you know what we should make your mind up cause when we get in on it so so you used to be my Romeo cause you see my dear I have had enough of keeping quiet about all this stuff your neurotic like a yo-yo you used to be my Romeo You keep on giving me the whole
Galaxy, I'm about to fly. Rain, rain on me. 